What do I need a therapist for then? Jesus isn't doing it for you. And for, I, I for believe what do I need a therapist for? I don't believe you're as emotionally mature as you could be. What do I need a therapist for? To get you to level up. In what? Yourself. In what category? Emotional okay. intelligence. Emotional, me? Yes. I'm not emotionally intelligent. Could you, could you pick a time and frame any day of sure. our life? Here's one. Three weeks ago when you were sitting in that chair, you stormed off this exact podcast because you were upset about something a comedian said. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to just lay this out for you quickly. Today is going to be a bit of a, uh, it's it's going to be like you're hanging out with us as we're having a conversation. We're just kicking it, chilling. I'm going to just throw this out there right off the bat. <clears throat> we have nothing to talk about. <laughs> we have absolutely no material. This will be a miracle of epic proportions if we actually put together an hour episode for you guys today. But we're going to do our absolute best and I hand it over to the man with the plan, the guy whose name is on the banner, <laughs> Logan Paul. Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button for me. We're going to uh, Qatar for the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why are you shaking your head? I shouldn't open with that. What? We're not going. We're not no, going. going We're not going. We're not what? going. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And I don't want to hear it. Elaborate. Why is everybody having mixed emotions about this? Because here's, here's, here's. Well, maybe not even the here's, here's. There's, there's just <laughs> people like to talk and maybe they have things to talk about and maybe they don't. I don't know. You handle this, <laughs> okay, bro. Here's, Why here's, did you just cut them off to not have anything prepared? I don't want prepared. him to talk either. I just want to. Fair just enough. So, Logan, go ahead. Maybe I should have opened with something else. No, no, no. Here's why it's good that you <laughs> I don't know what to say. Here's why it's good that you opened with Dude, that. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know why, but 300 and what? How many episodes? Almost 400. 50, 50, 350 episodes in. Right now, I've completely forgot how to podcast. Okay. I have no idea. Back here. Don't back here. Uh, it mics it. <laughs> right here. And I'll tell you why. I figured it out. Now, I'm going to use a word here that's generally frowned upon. But I, I'm, I'm going to use it very specifically because there's no other way to put this. Uh, weed makes me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how, how else to say it. Dude. No, I got really no brain. No I have no a fucking idea. putty brain. Uh -huh. Marijuana has turned the only thing that I had going for me, my brain, into mush. Mashed potatoes. We I, can't, I can't. I can't think. I don't even have anything to say. Uh, today why, why are you back on marijuana i thought you quit no because i got injured i and got oh so like when you're in, you're just chilling so you're smoking having bingo yeah are you smoking throughout the day or just at night time no just at night just at Damn. night but i don't i don't know what 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 happens like i i i eat I, so much food at night and 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 smoke like repeatedly i don't know how wiz khalifa does it bro Bro, he is the most functioning high I've never I have seen ever seen. Like it. I, I can't even believe. By the way, I, I just want to let you know. I have like four joints of his at the house. And I didn't steal it or he gave it to me. They were falling out of his pocket. No, stole and, them? no, no, no. I gave it back to him. But when I was saying goodbye, like little breadcrumbs just was following him <laughs> to the gingerbread <laughs> like, house. Guys, I, dude, just I followed the trail of joints. So I, I quit marijuana and I've been I've been sober for a good two weeks now. And I went home and I, I held a joint up high. I go, this is Wiz Khalifa. Everybody's getting high. And all of us <laughs> got high off of his, uh, his joint, which, by the way, very strong. Very strong. Very strong. I think that's what's happening today, honestly, truthfully. So the Wiz Khalifa episode's coming out later this month. It's it's fantastic. But possibly, possibly one of the best episodes I, that we've ever done. I think his I weed. Think I can't. Yeah, go. I know, you're right. I, th I, I think his weed was so strong because I, I obviously brought some home for my girl. Right. And. I think I'm like hung over from it. Like, I don't yeah. know why I feel so stupid. You, you were high for two podcasts. You, it like it lingered to the yeah, next for one. the yeah. Santino podcast. I, 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 why don't you just why don't you just do me a favor and take a deep breath, bro? You're, you're actually scaring me a little bit. Thank you. Like you're, you're freaking out. And we talked about this on the ride over. We we're going to make this the whining episode. The whining episode. <laughs> so I'm going to complain. Gonna whine. So I'm going <laughs> to complain. complain about, about, I'm going to oh, rant about weed. Just give me the fucking hat, Dylan. Shout out to the. Whoa. Girl, by the way. Shout out to the Maiman group for giving us this wonderful location to podcast from. A beautiful house. And even better, a beautiful group of realtors. Is that 
weird. No, the you, you third girls that. are hot, right? They are pretty. They are pretty. Oh. She mentioned something about the Gluck Gluck, that one real her. Oh, that was dope. And also, based uh, uh, on the note of the Gluck Gluck, shout out to Alex Cooper, who won Podcast of the Year at this year's Streaming yep. Awards. Yep, yep. Uh, Prime. Prime lost the Streamy Award uh, for Creator Product of the Year. We lost to uh, Pop Flex by Blogilates. So Pop Flex by Blogilates, congratulations. You guys, you beat us fair and square. Those are the things that go on the back of your phone, <laughs> That right? seemed a little bitter. Nah. You won fair and square. What is this Blogies? Yeah. All right, we'll talk about the next thing now, I think. <laughs> what is it, though? Like what is this, Bloggies? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Blogilates. I just want to let you guys know that this is off to a fantastic start. Thanks to you, buddy. Uh, I'll pull out my notes. I got something no, to no, talk no. about. I, I got something to say. Because okay, I want to con continue this marijuana thing okay. for one second. And I know it's like a... I think maybe people are tired of hearing about it, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some people can relate about the back and forth I have with, with this substance. You know, it's... This, this, I can tell, this is going to be my, my, my battle in life. Marijuana. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you questions? Sure, George. I guess this is a podcast, an open <laughs> forum where, you know, it's by design. That's, that's the goal. So you're cranky when you're on marijuana. Mm -hmm. Just FYI. That's. I'm cranky when I'm off marijuana. No, I know. I was just joking about that. You're always mean to me. Uh, <laughs> my question is, why are you getting high? Are you trying to run away from your thoughts? Oh, God almighty. No, I'm being honest. We're going to talk about it. Let's get to the, like, the root of it. Let's make this a thing. I'm trying to run away from thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in LA and they're fucking everywhere. Mike even invites me to his house. He Move got one right now. It. He got one right now that he flew out. I can't, I can't even in the comfort of my own home. The one with herpes on the lip? It's yes. she got attacked by a dog. It's she not, got mauled by an animal. It's George. one <laughs> tiny cut right here. It looks so suspect. Bro. No, 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 no. No, what dog does? What kind of one tooth dog? Bro, the dog came over to the house last night and met the culprit. He has a ponytail, bro. Oh. Or maybe it's a girl, but it shoots up and it's got a bow. Imagine getting bit by a dog with a ponytail, bro. Did you see the Speaking of four-legged animals. No, no, no. Hold on a sec. Slow it down, buddy. How many topics are you going to try to cover <laughs> in, in one Did second? you see the, like, like, the like, mountain lion that was at my ranch? <laughs> yes. What? Look at look it. This was caught on camera. My dad found this mountain lion outside of my house and my ranch. And it is on my bucket list to fight an adolescent big cat. Now, I've been kind of sizing this motherfucker up. I bet that's about a 140-pound cat. Would destroy you. You think so? <laughs> destroy you. You think so, huh? I, once again, we talked about this the same situation with my mom, because you want to fight my mom. The, the the only thing I have to go off of, unfortunately, it's not your athletic prowess. It's not your athletic build, your muscle. It's your pass record in combat sports. Yeah, yeah. And so judging off of that, I'm taking my mom. I'm taking that bobcat. I'm yeah. taking fucking a man made of toothpicks that walks into the <laughs> kitchen. I you 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 have only shown me that you have the capability of losing. Yeah. That's it. Kind of like England lost to France. Today's episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. You might be trying to go to a festival or a major game, and SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. SeatGeek is the absolute best place to buy tickets. we got the app on our phone. Check it out right here. And if I needed to buy a ticket to a WWE event in 2023, because there's a few to look forward to, like WrestleMania, SeatGeek would be the perfect place to do that. So might be a good time to start searching now. They rate every ticket from 0 to 10 to make sure you're getting a good deal. Green means good. Red means bad. We got the hookup for you guys as well. Use the promo code LOGAN for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code LOGAN. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Now back to the show. You know, the World Cup is going crazy. We're going to Qatar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen. You're goober, dude. We, uh, You're goober. We got invited to Qatar. I've never been to a World Cup. Um, obviously... He, he, just mass. I'm a massive soccer fan. Uh, name, I love so name two players, first and last name. No. Kylian Mbappe, David Beckham. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Hey, I mean, it yeah. works. It works. It works. So like, you didn't want to go with fucking Ronaldo or Messi or like any of those other people. <laughs> Dana White said something about. Can I? You no. Yeah, actually, let's talk about that. You, no, that's fair. That's fair. He moving in, in wacky motion. What do you expect, bro? Can we just? Are you? You're. I know why you're upset. You haven't gotten to talk yet, huh? No, that yeah, bro. You are you are you, bouncing you, no, around no, 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 like no. a fucking I'm some pinball. Time. I'm gonna give you some time. Okay, so let's talk about Qatar. We're going to Qatar. Dana White said this about Bobcats. Bro, slow <laughs> the fuck <laughs> down. You just want your 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 screen. Time. I've talked enough. Don't go for it. I have nothing to say. Dana White said this about soccer. Bobcats. <laughs> Dana White said this about Bobcats. 
half of my roster could fuck up these four-legged cats. Just just wait and see. We're changing the UFC to the UFB. You have beast where our fighters are going to be paired one-on-one -on -one against the strongest, most grisly animals on the planet. Just tonight, actually, Patty Plim Pimblet faces off against a mountain lion, a hundred, <laughs> 167 pound mountain lion. You gotta stop, bro. <laughs> you said that as a joke, but I would definitely pay pay-per-view to watch that. hundred percent. That's called gladi gladiator shit. Like back in the day when they would put a gladiator against like a lion and see what would happen. Like that's, I mean, that's entertainment. Yeah, I, I, I like it. Dana White said this about soccer. The least talented sport on earth. There's a reason that three-year-olds play. <laughs> do you think that was a PR thing? Do you think he took a page from Jake Paul's? Like, he's like, I'm going to stir up some shit. I think Dana White says whatever the fuck he wants. Okay. No, but that's a troll. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Do you, I literally, do you like that watching is the soccer? dumbest thing I ever heard in my fucking life, Dana White. It, all due respect. We've had you on the show. You're a great guy. But we literally had a conversation about this in the group chat last week. I believe soccer to be one of the most athletic skilled sports on the planet how these men run up and down that size field for that length of time with as little breaks as they take doing what they do on that field is unimaginable to me i had never watched um what i call soccer but others call football ever in my life really up until this year and it is one of the most exciting spectacles i've ever seen like I, li those? I like when they score and the commentators go, go. Just imagine. I'm sorry. I've been having diarrhea all night. <laughs> <laughs> No, but seriously, Can I ask bro? you, why do we have to come to this fucking podcast? I thought you guys were prepared. I've been shitting all night. I haven't had one lick of sleep. Why? Because I've been literally, like, I can't explain to you. I, dude, I have been cheating so much. I laughed at a joke with Belle and I farted in my pants and I shit my pants. Did you shit your pants? Though? You guys, I've been bullying George. I've been bullying <laughs> him so hard. I thought this was so funny, bro. <laughs> I, in the group chat, he's texting the impulsive group chat. He, and he's like... Guys, I was up all night just shitting my pants. Like it was something in the lunch yesterday. I, I was up. I was up all night, and I texted him. I said, "More time to pray, <laughs> bro." <laughs> Dude, me and Logan have this combative like argument about Jesus all the time, and people always come it's up to me. It's not combative, like, bro. I'm bro, encouraging you bro, to pray, bro. Bro, you have bro, extra time. You shit, and might as well. You are mean to me about my in. Lord and Savior, and let me tell you, something. he's my Lord and Savior too. Well, I know that, but you don't recognize that. And you're mean to me about it, but it's okay because we walk together hand in hand. Bro, and, and why are you guys laughing a, right now? You, think you weren't a, laughing before when I talked to you about it. And you weren't laughing before when I talked to you about it. Hold on. You think this because is like, me and him start actually going with it. And it, I realized I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of cool. I, I look at it differently now. Instead of like, I actually, we texted today about it. Instead of me just being like butthurt about it, me, I'm like, damn, like this is a good way to talk to somebody who's like super intelligent, needs to have like facts and science. So it's like, it's a good practice round of like, expressing my love but i'll have everybody know i don't fucking bring this up mike back me on this does he not bring it up more than i do i don't think you guys are doing a really good job of adding context to the to the scenario or to be quite frank any of the scenarios that you've lined up today i think you're a melting pot of uh, <laughs> stupidity and i think that you are a bowl of soup that un has undercooked chicken in it and that's the reason george can't stop shitting his pants i, I think you need it's I, not food poisoning by the way i got checked there's a stomach bug going around whatever there. you say okay. listen the, Logan, as George just mentioned, is only looks at things that are backed in fact and science. And I, I understand that George looks at things that are backed or, or believes in things that are backed simply by faith and, 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 you know, age old storytelling. I mean, yes and no, I do. There's a lot of scientific fact that backs the Bible. Sure. And so, and so what they've gotten into here is a, a theological uh, rumble. They're in a theological Royal rumble. You know what I'm saying? And they have been for like the past couple months. But <laughs> guess what tonight is, buddy? The annual impulsive Christmas dinner. Oh, event. cool. Yeah. All of us get together and celebrate the year that was impulsive 2022. We get to bring all the production people. Here's the problem. There's three people who got equity on this show. 
How are we supposed to divvy up the bill at the end? This pal? podcast is brought to you by Cash App. Oh, when personal nice. finance connects you to both your funds and the stuff that matters, that's money and that's Cash App. You know what else is money? Us splitting up our bill at Bukity Beppo tonight Beppo. using Cash App. You can invest, split, tip, donate, gift, anything involving finance. Cash App is the best place to do it. Cash App is the number one finance app on the App Store. That's money. Download Cash App from the App Store or the Google Play Store today to create your own cash tag and do what we do. Start interacting with money easy with money. Cash App. Say with Cash App again. With Cash App. Is that good? Yeah. Now back, back to, to the, the show. show. We did a photo shoot. <laughs> And then Logan Googled Jesus Christ and started posing like him. And I was like, it's okay. No, no, no. You no. want to be like your hero. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was, uh, it was the, the lost Leonardo. Uh, of, oh, is that what it was? Of, of the, I just saw the, pictures of Jesus. And the you picture were like, of Jesus. He, 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 did, he did like a cool thing with his like hand. <laughs> and I wanted to like recreate it for a photo. Because I'll be honest with you, bro. Jesus Christ fucks. Oh, God, bro. And people don't think that about him. That guy is uh, fucking dope. Well, I told so. Here's the issue. I told Logan this. We've been we've been going back and forth in this, and a lot of times, Logan, <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you so much. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. A lot of times, a lot of times, Logan will look to me and like look at my opinion of a situation, or I'll come in and chime in on a situation. I said to him on this one specifically, you have to be very careful when you mock or not mock even but when you play when you become playful with people's religions religion is a very very intimate relationship that people have in their lives i likened it to basically coming in uh and saying to someone yo i think your wife is ugly like if you walked into <laughs> someone's home and said yo i believe your wife is ugly that's hand throwing shit. I know, right? but is she ugly? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Be honest. If I walked in and I said, "Yo, your girl's ugly," you would punch you, me in the face. But she's not ugly. But, but that's fine, would you but say I'm that? Saying, would you say that? Look, would you tell somebody that his wife is ugly? I wouldn't say that. No, I would not go. Out okay, of my way. okay. Oh, but right. if she was so, ugly, and he then asked would you, you say, "Hey, do you think my wife is ugly?" No, not even that. But, <laughs> but would you ever offer it, like without being queried? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no, so no, what no. I'm at, so what I'm saying is this. People have a very intimate relationship. People feel that they've been saved, that their lives have been saved by their God, by know, whoever I they know, choose to call their higher power. So you're, you're even just questioning that, especially in the way that you do, which is never very skillful or, 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 you know, or, or graceful in any way is, is harmful and is, and is destructive. I to, disagree. To I disagree. I just, I, I don't think that we have to condemn homosexuality. Mm. Um, I don't think that we have to condemn sex before marriage um, or a, a slew. Of so don't, so don't, con gluttony. so like, don't, don't condemn, so don't condemn it. I don't know if I can, I just don't know if I can get behind. Like that's silly to me. That seems silly to me. So I, so I think it's, I think it's a silly practice to engage in. And I think it's, I think it deserves satire. Like, come on. Bro. Yeah, but that's you, not. You subscribe to a doctrine that, that slams homosexuality. Come on, bro. Uh, that's uh, ridiculous. I mean, again, we've talked about this. <clears throat> First of all, every religion, Muslims, Jewish people, Christians, they all believe well, that. Well, Georgie, that's the other thing. Oh, Everyone, talk. no, well, let him speak. Well, well, let him speak. Every, 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 you all think you're right. And you think that the Muslims are going to hell. And they think that you're going to hell. And the well, Jews I, I think that. I never said that. You can't put words in my house. No, in his but, house. But you, but you, you put do. words in his house. You can't let put him, words in my mouth. I never said that. Let him speak. If you believe in Christianity, it's what you think. You I don't, don't you think might that not is. I don't it, think that is the case. See, th I think this is the problem, Logan. You assume so much that you're like you don't know one Bible. What first. happens to a Muslim when they die, George? I don't know. God says no one knows who goes to heaven or hell. That's in the Bible. But they do go to heaven or hell. Yes. A Muslim can go to heaven. Yes. Can a Jewish person go to heaven? Again, I don't know who goes to heaven or hell. I am not. I am not the guy who decides who's going to heaven or but hell. Does, doesn't 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 <clears throat> your scripture say something about? If you're not subscribed to Christianity, oh you're, yeah, yeah, you're basically yeah, yeah. Uh, you, 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 you're you can be only go through the Father, uh, through the Son. Yeah. So Christianity believe that through Jesus you could be saved, but that doesn't but mean I go Jesus and condemn. Not, not Allah. So, but question: What makes you think I'm going around condemning people? That's what I want to know. Because you always put that on me. You always yell at me about gay people. I, I never once talk about because, gay people because you're subscribed to the doctrine. That perpet perpetuates that information. I'm subscribed to love my neighbor. Not everyone in your religion is. 
Yeah, but that's the, yeah, fine. but singling yeah, but singling but, but out. Sing, hold on, let you're me, sitting in let the me, same boat let me, with some really hateful. Let people. me help. Let me help for a sec. I believe, hold on. Let me help for a sec. Okay, singling help out. Talk. Si- no, let me jump in from my point of view, please. Okay, singling out specific wrongs in a religion or single pe- singling out certain people that subscribe to that religion is a, a is an exercise in futility. I could say the same for a ton of atheists that have severe malpractice in their in their way of thinking. So I think that that's a I. I believe that there have been, but but, the, but I think but there the have been aren't, and, the atheists aren't guided by anything other than their own personal beliefs, which by the way could be right or could be wrong. Okay, but, and, okay, and, I, so, and I'll say this so, again: so, at the end of the day, I don't know shit. Okay, so and my I'm not question saying is one this. thing or another. I just am definitely questioning why we have to perpetuate a belief that is fucking I, I, silly. I I agree, but you bashing me in front of a group of people for my beliefs is not right. And you're an atheist and I'm looking at you like no, you're wrong. No, no, I'm not an atheist. Well, regardless no, of no where way. you're coming from. What do you describe yourself as? I, I guess, I, I guess I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Agnostic. I think I would be agnostic. Like I, I do identify with a, a, a higher being, a spiritual power, what you would call God, what any religion would call God, the universe I, per se. But, but I think the pillars of religion have a lot of really beautiful things to them. I just also think it can get dangerous for the wrong people. So you're on like, are you on like a personal crusade to to fix something? No, no, because no. Because no, my no, question no, no. to you is, my question to you is, at the end of the day, and I said this specifically, that <sighs> the 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 parable or the adage that you should live your life by is live and let live. Yep. What is it that is so bothersome about George's belief? That I would love to speak about this too. By the way, we all can. Can I speak as well? <laughs> I know, but I keep getting like cut off. You're not because I'm, I'm I'm on your side. And I'm trying to. No, help I get it, you. but I feel I like you're speaking you. for me, and I don't agree with everything. I'm asking you're him a question. I feel like that. I'm too asking. Like, I'm asking him a question. I feel like that. Too I know. Much. I know, but I'd love to talk because I, I'm. Can I, I finish my question? Have him answer it, and then you could go uninterrupted for 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. What is it about that idea of live and let live that is, or or not doing that? that is so difficult to do. Like, why can't George just believe in what he wants to believe in? Someone else can believe in what they want to believe in and everyone can have their own. No, they can. And that's where I always end up. Like, I'm not here to to try to change anyone's mind, but I'm always here for the conversation because I find it fascinating. And, and, and and maybe one day I'll, you know, get the answers that I'm kind of just curious about, not seeking, but I'm, I'm just curious. hundred percent. This, it, it, it really does fascinate me. I know it does. I was angry with you for a very long time because of this situation. And, I, and I'm not trying to like be a, a dramatic person right now, but genuinely, like I know people that hate me, that treat me better about my faith than you and you're my best friend. So like I get you're wrestling with it and you like to tackle things head on. And I've told you before, if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it peacefully or we don't even have to talk about it. But if you notice, I never, ever question anybody's beliefs or push them to believe in Jesus. I express my love. And if you express your higher power, I'm all ears and I will listen to you for days and express because there's a lot of takeaway I could learn from it. All I'm saying is I think you're so quick because you believe in something so much that you're determined for me to see it from your point of view. And what, that's what, how wars are started. You, what do you think I believe in, George? I, it sounds like you have a misconception about what you think I believe. Buddy, you cannot tell me about misconception and you keep misquoting the Bible and you keep putting me into a box that I'm not in. You wait, keep wait, bringing up that I bash gay people all hey. the time. When have I ever done that? Bro. That is a staple of your religion. And it's not bashing gay people. It's condemning them but have for you what as, they like. For, That's as George Janko, as your, best friend, as your best friend, have you ever seen me to any straight man or gay man or any type of person I've ever, have I ever shown any hatred no, ever? No, but you're in the same boat with a large group of people that do. I believe I'm in the same boat with a lot of hypocrites. And I do agree. I think there's a lot of hypocrites. But you can't paint me out to be like somebody I'm not. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm, 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 I'm not talking about you. you. I'm talking about religion is what I'm talking about. So I'm going to ask you again. Yeah. What do you think I believe? You? Mm-hmm. I, I, I believe that you believe in a higher power. I believe that it's not a God. I believe you think it's a force an energy and you're trying to put together where our energy goes afterwards. And you're still in the midst of putting that together. I listen to you. I don't, have I ever bashed that? No, never. I never would. And I also, I believe that your energy is the same of me, but this is the way I want to, I want all of us to like be together. Like at the end of the day, bro, I can never prove to you that Jesus Christ exists. I can never do that. You can never prove that your belief system exists, but we could do is have like-minded conversations and grow from it. Mm. And I just, I want there to be love in the conversation instead of like, because like we pick on each other and other things, it's totally fine. 
Like you, you suck at comedy. Mm-hmm. I get that. Everybody mm-hmm. knows that. Mm-hmm. All that stuff. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to religion, uh, you have to be. You have no. to tiptoe. No, I don't. No, I don't. Well, I do with anybody. And by the way, you brought up like Muslims and Jews. Dude, I sit at synagogues and talk to to rabbis all the time and pick their brains. I sit with Muslim people. They're most peaceful people. We went so to Saudi who's Arabia. Right? I want you to say it right now. Who's right? Who's whose God Who, is real? My God is real in my eyes. Not Allah. I don't believe that Allah is real in my eyes. A lot of Muslims would that, disagree with you. But does that mean I have to disrespect their beliefs? No, absolutely not. Does, does that mean we can't break bread and hang out no, and discuss? No, 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 it doesn't mean so that So why does it have to be like, who's right? I need to know right now. Why can't this just be your life journey and just figure it out yourself? Live and let live. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's, that's, and, that's and that's And that's where I always land. But you land on my face with your kicks sometimes with the with the mean words you say. You you what? don't I think you really I think you're so giant with your words, you really don't know what you step on when you say things. Like really, like and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way or trying to pull at you. I think that you have so much going on in your life and you're so like power driven that you will mow past your friends and family without accidentally without knowing. If I say something, I've said it intentionally. And that unless I, I'm unless I'm drunk. <laughs> but 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 can can you can or you can Khalifa. you say something? I'm sure you you sound pretty specific in your recollection of your memory right now. Can you give an example? Of one one that saying? really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. No, that I one didn't. hurt me. No, I didn't. I said you need a therapist because Jesus isn't quite doing it for you. No, you which didn't. is no, which you is true. No, you didn't. I and said, I, I don't want to stand down. No, you didn't. You, you think, said you think I said nah, you need not a therapist what I think. You I checked you. And I said what did you just say to me? And you said, what did I say? And you stumbled. And you're like, I don't know. What would I say? I, no, and no, then no. you fumbled. And I'm not backing it is, down from It this. is common knowledge that you don't interpret reality like reality happens. Mm-hmm. And you heard that incredibly wrong. You think so I said what you do need, I need a therapist because you believe in Jesus? What do I need a therapist for then? Jesus isn't doing it for you. And for, I, I for believe what do I need a therapist for? I don't believe you're as emotionally mature as you could be. Then what do I need Jesus for? I mean, uh, what do I need a therapist for? To get you to level up. In what? Yourself. In what category? Uh, so when you think George needs a therapist, what category am I following? Emotional under? intelligence. Emotional me. Yes. I'm not emotionally intelligent. Could you could you pick a time and frame any day of sure. our life? Here's one. Three weeks ago, when you were sitting in that chair, you stormed off this exact podcast because you were upset about something a comedian said. Uh, no, I was upset that I finally discussed. Listen, I just I was, answered your question. I'm not looking for rationalization about the thing. I just answered your question. Also, so what you, you, what you said to say? in the past that it's you like it when people storm off. So I asked you if I get upset and I want to storm off, is it cool? And you said absolutely. Georgie, you left, bro. I'm not. I'm going to jump in you on this, that one. I'm not sure that that's representative of emotional intelligence. It, what happens in content is content, bro. It could be entertainment. It could, there's a million things that could happen. There. So should, should, I, should I cite another I'm example? Not, I'm just. Th- I mean, you can. Yeah, I'm. Just, I'm gonna jump in occasionally as as a as a guide here, as a mediator. Yes. Also, like these type Even of conversations me should be behind closed doors. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. I don't juice. I think every single person on this planet could really benefit from therapy. I do. I agree. And what did I say? I said, yeah, I'd love that. And I got. I think I got it would be. I think it would be great for you. I really do. No, I agree, but I don't think saying. Even, okay, hypothetically say you truly did in your heart feel like I needed a therapist. Which I do. Okay, but that was the first time we ever brought it up. Uh, Do you feel like bringing my higher power or something that I fall in love with to use an example for failing me to use as leverage for me to get a therapist? Do you think that is something a loving human being would say to somebody? I love you. And I don't think Jesus is evolving you in a way that you could be. That's fine to say that. Yes, it comes. It's coming from a place of Can love. I, I want I, you to be the best person that you could possibly be. If what I've examined and witnessed in your behavior, I don't think the prayer is doing enough. I think actual conversation with a medical professional will help you learn and discover a lot more about yourself. That may open up a bit more wavelengths in your brain to mm-hmm. become the person that you want to become. Got you. Now, here's my other question: Did anyone here in this room at all, realistically? know I was going through something. When? Mike. I did. When I, the two years that I had the hardest years of my life was this past two years. Did anybody here know this? If you didn't tell anyone, how would we know that? Well, one, I call every one of you guys and check in on you. No one checked in on me. Mike, you checked in on me the first time I called you. Yes, I'm going through things. And I will admit, Mike consistently checked in on me afterwards. The only person that was there wasn't family, wasn't friends, wasn't coworkers. It was my Jesus Christ. And he's the not, one that not even your girl, Belle. Belle didn't know. I, so Georgie, some, are you? There's some people that can't express. You, you bro. Like you're, you you're asking for a babysitter. You're 29. No, I'm like, not. I'm just saying you can't knock something that I gone through and helped save. I'm me. not knocking. I'm not. I'm not knocking that. But you don't all. know the steps that I took, 
and there's a lot of people I I believe that the Bible would weigh more than a therapist. And that's my belief. I truly believe that because I believe there's a lot more wisdom in the Bible than a human being that's that's dealing with their own drama could give me pointers on. There, there, Do I feel like it's there, pointless to have a therapist? Absolutely not. That's there, why I, I there's probably it. merit in that. And I actually, I think I agree with you. I do. I do. Leaving the Bible up for interpretation, which it, it is, mm -hmm. people are going to read it differently, right? Yeah. So, so while it may be really beneficial for you, way more beneficial than a, than a therapist, it might not be for someone else. That one-on-one -on -one conversation with another human, a practice that has been proven to, to work. Not for everybody. Not for everyone. Not for everyone. Same right. as, same as faith doesn't work for everybody. Correct. Everybody's going to find a practice that Correct. works best I, I, for them. I know. And I know George and I, and I know very well. Yeah. And I know you could benefit a lot from a therapist. Okay. And noted. I do feel like, and no disrespect to anybody, I think when it comes to emotional intelligence, I think I'm the smartest one here. When it comes to emotional intelligence, I'm sorry. And I will say this confidently in front of all of you guys. I'm happily willing to bow out. As I, the I know so when it comes count. to emotions, I am the first one to notice things and handle things, and I privately handle things. I've had private conversations with many people here I will not mention. Emotional I've had private conversations with your family members I will never mention. Emotional intelligence in what vertical, though? That's wait, my wait, question. Wait, 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 no, 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 because what you said I'm sorry, does it fucking matter? This isn't like a dick measuring emotional intelligence contest. No, bro, you brought it up. But like, I, what, I, what is, what, what's the point of saying that? My, the point is you brought it up that I that I needed it for that, and I feel like that is actually my strongest suit in life. I'm is not my saying emotional you're emotionally unintelligent. I'm saying I think you lack in that vertical from where you could be. Okay. Makes sense? It does. But also, here's another thing, bro. Like, we've been going down this rabbit hole together, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I really do because I do look at you like my brother, and we're gonna we're gonna bump heads. You're gonna have your beliefs, and I'm gonna have my beliefs. I just wrestle to make sure that there's love involved. I have to, bro, because you gotta understand. Like, I watched it destroy families, and it's not religion just didn't destroy families, bro. It destroys countries. It destroys the well, that's world. That's part of his argument. Exactly. So, but I'm fighting for everybody. And so I really did get hurt when we're joking around. You're like, yo, yeah, he, you believe in uh, Christians and, and uh, uh, they, they hate gays. And that crushed me because there's a lot of people that I love that are gay. So when you put me in that box, I'm like, bro, I am the farthest from I that. I ain't putting you in any box. You are putting yourself in that box. <laughs> no, no. Yes, you are. Can yes, I ask you, you something? Can I ask you something? Okay, there's a mass shooting. A white guy does it. Do I look at you and be like, all white people are on the fence to go do a mass shooting? No, I don't put you it in that box, It wasn't my decision bro. to be white. So that, uh, that argument's irrelevant. I would have said. It was your, I would have said atheist. It was your. It was your decision atheist to be a shoots Christian. Up a school. Well, no, Do because a lot of people that have different religions are school shooters. But my point is, I'm not running to label you, bro. I, I would rather want to sit and understand you and learn from you than judge you and put you in a box. There's also a lot of denominations that have come around to the idea of homosexuality. I think. I think that that's stating the, that that's that's stating that Christianity in general is a homosexuality hating religion is a is a is like a blanket statement that does not cover the entirety of the truth. Well, also, it's not true because if you do not love thy neighbor, and that means gay yeah, or straight, then you are not a child of God. Bro, that is literally about, quoted about, in the Bible. Yeah, but what about conversion therapy? Like, what, do, what, what is conversion therapy? It's something your church does, George. Stop saying my church, bro. I don't know what But it's something your but, but church it's also, does. But it's also something what that- What are you talking but it's also about? Something you that don't church, know what, what's my church name? I don't know. Exactly, bro. You do this is a lot. Is it a church- that practices yeah, Christianity. These are, these are blanket. Is statements. it a church that practices Christianity? Statements. Yes or no? Yes, but the church. So the Christian that did church that? runs conversion therapy. So does the I think so that's does Catholic. The so does atheists. So do atheists. There's but a lot also, of people. Atheist church? church? No, it doesn't. It's I not. What are you talking conversion about? Conversion therapy is not a, a church sponsored exercise. It's a scientific. <laughs> it's and and I, I would. Exercise. I don't have this stat, but I would argue that there is a probably a higher concentration of conversion therapy classes or courses, whatever the fuck they are, in Christian churches. I would like to see the stats to back that actually that's i would, like, I, 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 would I both of you guys are completely because, wrong there's because, religions that will put them to death no, no 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 because what i'm saying is i my my argument would be that the majority of conversion therapy happens as a result of parental uh recommendations that are not back that are not necessarily backed in religion or anything besides the fact that the parents don't want their kids to be tra tra uh transitioning into something that they believe they're not gen in a gender role I'll, I'll, also like I, th this is there's so many different factors and so many different situations here. 
the way the way things are delivered is a massive thing. Logan, as you said earlier, notoriously, and I and I've stated this to him, he knows this, has one of the worst deliveries ever when it comes to criticism, when it comes to talking about things. He's a big swinging egotistical cock in arguments. And that's a fact. Do you want to know why? That's a fact. Do you want to know why? But, but, but let me not, not to no, bash but you. No, just, you, just, you know you bash me. You, you attack Go my ahead. character. Go no, I no, have it. I have no, it. no, I said. I have it. I'm he's just, not saying you I'm did. not bashing I anybody. I fucking said it. Oh. What I'm saying is in arguments, you, you do, you say, you call it yourself. You say, I like to pull out my swords. And you fuck people up. You slash, yeah. you dice, you, yeah. you cut. Yeah. yeah. Comes from good. A lot of good comes from it. Well, listen, it's not always... It's not always productive for a conversation that has such intellectual um, variance and so many factors. When you put someone against the fence, a lot of times it changes their their confidence, their understanding. Real conversation that drives pro productive conversation and productive debate is is comf is should be comfortable in nature. That takes place in a respectful environment. If something environment, that I say makes you uncomfortable because of the substance of the sentence, it's not the that substance. That is your it's fault. It's not the substance. What is it's it? The, the delivery? delivery? It doesn't 100%, 100%. matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yo, they say you treat others see, how you want to be treated. If I'm in a debate setting, Jesus how I want to be treated is with truth and rati rati rationality. It's your delivery. Your delivery well, let is. Let me speak. Let me speak. Because I, I, I don't want I, anybody I, to get upset here. While I definitely agree with you, we we've talked. And you are right. And my my delivery. Is You're something very harsh. that very hard. Yes. Treat others how you want to be treated, right? The goal. Yeah, but rule. nobody wants to. Do I don't that. want to be babied, bro. Wait, I don't I want to be babied like anymore. But some people aren't. I don't like to... it because it turns out it's not true. Everyone wants to be coddled into the truth. Everyone wants to be handheld and walked up the mountain with a buddy instead of climbing it themselves. But what about I, what you want? I don't get, fuck with that. What about what you want Fair to get enough. out of the conversation? Like, and I've had this conversation. I've had this talk with you a million times. What if the intent is for you? To get a productive response from the person across from you. Yeah. So, so well, when no, you no, no, say, no. so when you say you want, you don't want to be babied. What if you want them to produce the most meaningful and effective argument that they can, so, so that you can have the best and pr most productive conversation? And if I tell you that your approach and your delivery is hindering their ability to produce an effective argument, would that change your approach? In a work environment, absolutely. And and I will coddle in a work environment. If it's I need, if I coddling, need, if I need something from not, Kevin that not, is like a serious sticking point. I will gather myself before I have the conversation, take a deep breath, and try to convey the information in a way that it's going to most suit Kevin. And that's even a new thing for you because that was because of you. No, because of you. Because of you in a work environment, fine. But if I'm talking about religion with someone who I love, sorry, bro, I love you. <laughs> I, so I, I'm going to be harsh as fuck with you. I ain't holding back anything. I'm bringing out my swords. Same with you, and you know that. Oh, when I, when, me and you are fine, bro. I, I love, I, I love I, you guys. I, I, I love I, you guys. So I'm going to attack you two the fucking hardest. Hundred percent. That's, that's just how I am in my life because I know that 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 veil of love will never go away. I, I have a I, I have a question. I want to read this. Um. Because we're speaking about love, and we I did not know we were about to talk about this. I swear on everything. But this morning when we were going back and forth, I want to read what, what we were talking about. And I said, on, I, I said, I would do anything. I'll, I'll dodge in the matrix, and I go, anything. Basically, I said, I would do anything for you to see God. I would, I would love that. I would love for you to see God when we're going back and forth on it. And I basically talk about how I would get rid of everything that I love for you to see God. And you said, would you even get rid of Bell? And I said, on a serious note, Sorry, if, if God came to me and said, the only way that Logan would ever see me is if you suffer a life of loneliness, I said, I would take it. And you said, wow, that is love. And it was the first time I screenshotted that because it was the first time me and you met common ground with love. What do you mean? I love you, George. Just because I don't believe in what you believe in doesn't mean I love, I don't I love get it, you. I get it. But you do, you do like this shit where we're, if you don't agree with it, like we'll be talking about something over here and they'd be like, nah, cause you hate gays. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> bro, I was like, and, and, I, and bro, and I can't tell over text if you're being serious or you're that's not being serious. That's another big problem. So like, <laughs> that's it, another big problem. Wait, wait, like, like, no, is, is our satire and our, our it, conversation it, because, because dude, I'm going to be honest with you. So when you guys started getting into it today in this little scratch, in the group chat, which by the way, fired up quite a bit. I think you call them disgusting, which 
So I hit up, <laughs> so I hit up because I, I, I said he was shitting all night. More time to pray. So he I said, I said, guys, I don't know if I can do the podcast. I've been shitting so much. Oh, yeah. I, and he goes, extra time for you to pray. Yeah, that's how And I go, you're <laughs> that's funny to me. Nah, that's yeah. funny. Bro. So that's another major like, problem. To, like so to I me, sleep. dude, I'm giggling in the car laughing at it. And George said, that's disgusting. And it is disgusting. Well, it's, uh, like, I, I, all I said back was, ha ha. <laughs> and, and what did I say when we texted by ourselves? You called me stupid as fuck. And no, said, I did it. I said that. I said, <laughs> I am said disgusted of your uh, lack uh, of disrespect uh, and intelligence. Yes. And then I said, intelligence, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because I realized he comes after Jesus. I'm coming after his intelligence. It's the two things that we no, love the most. But you love your intelligence more than I love my Jesus. No, but that's what, what makes me intelligent is I'm not falling for the myth. <laughs> no, it's not a myth. Listen, buddy, you know what's a myth? You thinking you're smart. That's a myth. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody believes that myth here. <laughs> I don't think I'm smart, George. I think you're an amazingly no, smart man. No, no, no. You know <laughs> I'm an, I won't say amazing, but I'm smart. You're I'm a objectively smart. You're a genius. And I think no matter how you cut it. So, yes. I thought that's why that was funny. Exactly. You said lack of disrespect. Fine. You're right. I was being disrespectful. No, not but lack of disrespect. But intelligence? Yeah. Or lack of respect. I was being disrespectful. But lack of intelligence, that deserves a little ha ha ha. Come on, what are we talking about? Could you, you know? shake my hand and move forward with these conversations with love? Well, well, can I can I can I put it? But it is all love. It is all love. Your your well, your I, interpretation of my love is not how how I'm dishing it out. No, it's you know, and, and I will admit, half of it is my fault because I'm not like Mike. I can't just like stand up to him and be like, "Yo, shut the fuck up," blah 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 blah. Because I love you so much that I'm scared if I get mad at you with this situation, then you'll really hate God. And so I get really nervous. So I talk out of love all the time until I want to fucking strangle you um, and then make you meet God. I you know, love, if you I love kill God, him, he will meet God. I love God. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's a fact. Well. Have you thought about that? Yes, many times. If you kill him, him, he'll meet him. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if if I was ever going to kill a human being, now I, this is a joke, but I feel like somebody's gonna take it for real. Like no one's gonna, no about. one's gonna He's take you for real. Hey, hey. By the way, when you when I texted Levin, so this is where things get fucked up. Jeff Levin, yeah, Jeff Levin, yeah. Gotcha. So I sent him. I texted him. I said, "Yo, you." Oh, he texted me. He said, yo, is George serious right now? About what? In the group chat when you guys were like going at it, calling each other names oh, and no, shit. Yeah. And I said, yeah, bro. And he said, last week, George said to me, Jeff, you're evil. Kanye was right about you. And he said, <laughs> and he said, no, listen. And he said, and this is a really interesting point. Bro, no, now, it's not. No, we no, were no. all roasting each other. Okay. And I said, you know what? Kanye West was right about but, you. But so, so said, bro, when I roast, yes. when I roast so you, it's just no, a roast. No, just no, 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 no. Because I then agree, you guys George. need to I, know about time and place. Because if we're sitting down having an actual honest... Like, listen, if somebody just came up to me and was like, hey, uh, my grandpa just died. And you say, hey, go fuck your grandpa. That's <laughs> that timing. And by the way, that's you'd be funny. like, no one would ever do that. That's Logan funny. did that. And by the way, I had more deaths this year than I've ever experienced in my life. But I know that's how you deal with comedy. You don't see me being like... Trauma, 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 trauma. Trauma. Bro, it's a joke. I said a joke. Obviously, I love Jews. My superhero, Jesus Christ, is a Jew. If I could be a Jew right now, I would be a Jew. Did anybody think that Kanye was going to become a Nazi? I feel like that was such a curveball. That, that was a curveball. That was a curveball. Because he was like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, bro, he was so chill with like, because he was on the other side where he was like, George Bush does not love black people. You know, and like saying some shit on that side. And for him to just become a Nazi, bro, or just be chilling with Nazis. I did not. I didn't see it coming. And the way that he said he loved Hitler with that many O's of varying capitalization. Yeah, I know. He said, I love Hitler. Oh, no. There's a lot of things that I love. I, I, I knew it wasn't going down the right path when he came out with that album. Um with like Jesus, oh. it was like Jesus. Oh no, or, careful when no, you talk I ain't about saying she Jesus. a gold no, digger. No, 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 that's, <laughs> no, no, and don't finish that line. Uh, no, I ain't saying she a gold digger. <laughs> no, but he's like, it was you know his, what? I'm just gonna start saying a lot of words I'm not supposed to say on the show today. It, <laughs> just it was like a church thing, and it was like, yo, come with us. We're gonna we're gonna go to church, and I was so excited. So I, all my friends from Arizona came, and we went. Um, and bro, it wasn't church. It was a concert. And everybody was getting super drunk out there. Look, like, Jesus. And they were drinking. See? But I didn't I didn't judge them. I was just like, oh, this isn't for me. And yeah, I, I mean, but bro. But the Lord said. Another them. issue I have is y'all can do whatever <laughs> you want and then just ask for forgiveness and you're chilling. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 
So what? What? You got a problem with it? <laughs> you got a problem about? with that? No, oh, I'm come on. No, actually, that's actually a myth. That's not true. Oh, what can't be forgiven? Uh, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is like the me. Only. Oh like my me. God! The one thing you did. So the, me saying that Jesus. Oh fucks, my um, God! Um, uh, no, because he says anything that is said to the Father will be forgiven. Anything for the uh, for the Holy Spirit would be not forgiven. Which one? Is, which one is the Holy Spirit? The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit's in all of us. So I can't Holy say the Holy Spirit fucks. I I wouldn't. I would tread lightly. But also, here's the thing, bro. Like God's not sitting there wanting you to be judged. He's not. He's not looking at you like I can't wait till you mess up so I could burn you, bro. Like. He's it, the Bible isn't anything for you to worship him. It's for you to live a peaceful, better life. Is it arrogant to assume that God gives a fuck about me or you? No, I feel like everybody wants to be loved and to be loved by your somebody dad. who created the Do you universe. Think it's arrogant to think your dad loves you. Well, his dad doesn't love him. So. Oh, that's a good point. I'm just kidding. GP loves you so much, by the way. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. So much. You yeah. know what? Me and I, him have the most beautiful conversations, which is so astonishing to me because we get deep, me and him, bro. We'll sit on the phone for an hour or two. That's odd. Don't touch the pillow. I was using that. You know what I said to Logan yesterday? And the and my final note on this whole religious take. If George is wrong, he goes to the same place as you. But if you're wrong, I'm not. He said that. He said that. I said, I'm just not. I said, but if you are no. on some strange chance, you are going to have to wake up. First of all, burning in hell every day. And I don't even know that you'll be able to sleep because imagine. Think about it for a second, bro. But what's no, no, burning, no, me, Mike? Bro, let me. No, but what's burning? Everything. Everything. The no, walls, but what? Is it me? No. It wasn't my energy. No, I don't know. What is it? Don't worry about that. But here's the part. Is it me at this age? Here's the part. Is it me at the age I die? When a baby dies, do they go to heaven or hell? Uh, it's innocent. So it, it, again, I'm going to say the same answer. No one knows who goes to heaven or hell but the father. If a baby murdered someone, does the baby go to heaven or hell? Well, who did he murder? Again, same answer. I don't know who goes to heaven or hell, bro. And nobody does. And anybody who tells you they have the answers to who goes to heaven and hell. Sway ain't got the answers. I know that for sure. Um, but, but he did. He actually admitted that. <laughs> oh, he, he did. Yeah. Sway did have the fucking answers. That's what was the fucked up thing about as, it. As much as this conversation is uncomfortable, I'm very proud of us. And I'll tell you why. Because nobody else would have the balls to have these type of conversations out there. Are you uncomfortable? No. Actually, I thought I'd be a lot more uncomfortable. But I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not I'm not uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable at all. Do you guys want to kiss? Yeah. No, it's against my religion. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, I brought it back. <laughs> Uh, Speaking of good Christians, uh, Danny Strobel is getting married. My old assistant, Danny. No way. Congratulations, Danny. It was so cute. Her husband, yeah. fiance, now proposed to her on like a rock in Colorado. She's living her best life. Dude, she really found him and ditched all of us. Yep. That's As she how should. you know it's real love. As she fucking should. Same with Hayden. My old editor, Hayden. Ashley. Oh, <laughs> Hayden. Every time I see him, oh, I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> we love we love Hayden so much, and he's doing so well too. We've had we've had a couple uh we've had a couple really really proud graduates mm. of, of of Team Maverick. Maverick that that makes Maverick. me happy. Our yeah. team's been strong for a long time, and even the people that moved on, it wasn't like hatred. It was like I got married and need kids. Oh my God, are we at that age? Well, that's what I was that's what I was gonna say. I feel like oh, Danny my- decided she. Didn't want to be in this hustle and bustle world of podcasting and debauchery and dick sand. Yeah. She got married on top of a rock. Is that? Yeah. yeah. She got fucking married on a rock. <laughs> engaged. Oh, she got engaged up on top of a rock. <laughs> which is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? So now we're just here still talking about shit. <laughs> and she's leading on with a real life, yeah. bro. Do you guys ever think about that? Like, newsflash. I'm 37. I'm a vlogger, dog. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Bro, two weeks from the time this episode comes out, I'll be 38 and a vlogger. Oh my god! Bro, I'm fucking Casey Neistat and not as good. <laughs> That's great. Like, bro, someday I'm gonna wake up. Now, granted, I'm gonna have several millions of dollars, but I'm still gonna be a fucking no disrespect, a YouTuber in my 40s, bro. And there's a chance that I have not gotten married on a rock because all <laughs> I think about <laughs> is rocks, crack rocks. <laughs> <laughs> right. What I'm saying is this, bro. 
<laughs> I, do you guys, okay, because as we near the end of the year, I thought we could have a discussion today about where we see ourselves going in the new year, in 2023. And I wanted to get your guys' opinions on that because I personally, I think I may have to start thinking about, you know, life bro and like real life and not just work you know you know better than anyone bro i'm a i'm a bit of a problematic workaholic i and, and i know you know or you know that i don't um what's the word like uh, maximize my efficiency like i still do a lot of the work myself for various reasons but i feel like i i've really ignored a lot of growth in my personal life you know in, in, in just just so that i can continue to build out a career so this prompt and what I'm going to say in response to the prompt may help you a little bit in trying to pursue the thing that it sounds like you think you may want to pursue in the upcoming years. Is it problematic to say it, but that I don't know anything about what I want? No, of course not. Okay. Of course not, which is totally fine. A lot of people don't know what they're going to do in their lives. Um, and I've actually been thinking about this for you as well, um, because as I found love recently, as you know, and you hear it in the mornings. Sounds pretty good. Short, but <laughs> good. <laughs> Bro, I fucking stole a blue chew from Mike's. Oh, room. yes. Oh, my Yo, God. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm so happy you want to tell this story. I could cry <laughs> tears of joy. I, I was like, I, 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 I go to him yesterday before the podcast. I was like, oh. so like, I, ha I haven't seen my girl in like, you know, a couple of days. I put on some cologne before she got back home. I brushed my teeth. <laughs> took, took a blue chew like i'm showing up tonight wait right? have the conversation with me <laughs> and i go like this i go mike i went in your drawer i went in your drawer and yesterday this is me. and and i took a, one of your blue chews because he, he he loves preaching about these uh this this um aid well let's call it aid performance <laughs> no 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 that's aids this no. is blue chew <laughs> no, perform <laughs> performance answer you don't go to the gym without a pre-workout do you by the way blue chew pay it, it reach out to them we, we need to get yeah. paid for this yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, episode because yeah. but this is dead serious uh and i go i tried a blue chew and bro I, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't work. Like it didn't work. It didn't work for me, bro. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this actually happened. He's by doing this. I'm like, what are you doing? What? Tell me what you've discovered. <laughs> Did you take this blue chew from my top right drawer by any chance? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Yeah. I opened the package and I took the blue chew. I had some samples that were actually placebos <laughs> for marketing purposes. <laughs> they sent me placebos <laughs> with new packaging so that I could market them. It didn't taste like anything. That all these all these uh, wheels start turning in my head. I'm like, holy shit! It had no fucking flavor. No wonder, like I was just kind of like normal dick coat. <laughs> I, <said, laughs> I said this dude probably walked into the bedroom dressed as Superman, like baby, <laughs> it's time. <laughs> and just walked in on just <laughs> and like, did, my, you, my guy, did you talk your wah, shit? Wah, wah. Did you talk it up? Because like you might gave me a Bluetooth. Dick. Oh my god, dude, I have a Bluetooth story. I, I took once uh from what the fuck just cut out. Oh, I uh I took a Bluetooth from Mike once and I didn't know how to fucking use it. So I like I popped it. And Bell's waiting downstairs, and I'm literally naked on my bed, just staring at my dick, <laughs> waiting for it to go up. And I'm like, why the fuck isn't this working? Wait 30, 40 minutes. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? You give me a dud. I call him. He doesn't answer. I Google it. Nobody's giving me the answer. I call my buddy Greg. I'm like, Greg, what the fuck, bro? Like, what do I do? Should I just like, you know, do it normally? It's our anniversary. I want to do something nice. And I, oh, by the way, I didn't preface. I talked my shit. <laughs> I said, girl, tonight, yeah. bring a wheelchair. <laughs> You're not going to be able to stand when I give you this horse dick. <laughs> when I walked upstairs and just stared at a at, at an empty vessel, and I'm like, oh no! But then Bony. I guess I guess you have to get it started. Yeah, like you have to, yeah. I didn't it's know about as, this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, no, no. Same. It worked for me. <laughs> yeah. So 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 that happened. Anyways, I've been I've been, <laughs> I've been thinking about your situation. Yeah. And I told Nina that I. I truthfully don't believe you you'll ever get married and you'll be lonely forever. Uh -huh. But well, then but know. then but then but that word. No, but then <laughs> I checked myself and I said, "You know what? Mike came from the fucking gutter. Like the actual gutter. Like if we rewound time and flash back to 10 years ago, the version of Mike that you would see it, it, no, let's let's say 15 years ago is drastically different from the version of Mike that exists now. Like the the people that saw him from his hometown, the cops that arrested him, could not believe that this is what this is the product of the person that they were throwing in fucking jail doing crack, right? So any transformation is really possible, and what I what I think is going to happen 
Well, most likely not because you're an incredibly evolutionary person and, and you have the ability to, to, to make leaps and bounds when it comes to personal growth. So I actually take that back. And I think you, I think you will find love eventually, but the person, the version of you that's going to find love is going to be drastically, drastically different, different than this version sitting here right now. The, the issue with me, dude, is one of the, one of the things, as you guys know, that I battle with intensely is just my mind. And it, 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 you, you talk about this all the time. It's like one of the scariest ideas in the world that like your battle is with yourself, not with anyone else. And I, I have such capability and I'm so aware of my capability. I really believe that I can do anything. I believe that I have what it takes to, to just make people watch and entertain and interested in the things that I do and say. And I've had that echoed by at, you know, Theo Vaughn just came up to me and told me the other day, he's like, you got the fucking sauce. Mm. Go on stage, write a routine, do something, bro. I am limited severely in my professional life and my personal life by something called self-doubt. And I'm a, I am a massive, massive self-doubter. And I wake up and I struggle with this a lot, dude. I struggle with this a lot. This, this um, dialogue that exists in my head that you can't do that. Mm, you can't do that. You're, you, you can't do that. You know your anxiety won't let you do that. Even if you got good enough, your anxiety won't let you do that. You, you, can't, get close, you can't get close to a girl, bro, because your, your intimacy issues won't let you do that. You're an addict. You are an addict, bro. You have access to a plethora of women at all times. You will never settle down. You are an addict in all ways, all shapes, all sizes. And that's what my dialogue tells me. And until I start to work on how I talk to myself, None of those things will be possible for me. And unfortunately, going back to what I started this conversation with, my inability to break away from the grind is completely hindering my ability to fix my fucking mental health. So, And that sucks. And, and that's my fault. And that's my problem. And I dug myself even deeper in with that fucking house, to be honest with you. And I'm not, I'm, there's no problem. Obviously, I, I, I'm good. But it's like now I feel like, dude, I can't stop working. I so, got to pay for this fucking house. So let me tell you a little bit of a breakthrough that I had. Maybe you can relate to. This is, this is what I kind of mentioned at first. When I took a step back from creating, it was so transformative for me as a person. And what I was able to then do with that new version of myself that I fucking loved was build some really fucking really? dope companies get a girlfriend, find love both externally and internally, make new friends, continue pursuits that I've wanted to my whole life and that are now flourishing greater than ever. Like you're, t you're, t you're having a conversation about building versus creating and that, that grind of creating will burn you the fuck out. I told you when but, we were on the way here. <laughs> but there's something to be said about like internalizing your energy and building stuff behind the scenes, making your everyday life look really interesting and it has to be entertaining and captivating every single week is hard, bro. That's not, that's, no one's life is that interesting. Like for, for that amount of time, how many weeks you've been putting like out? Almost three years. Of that's insane. You know, that's you know, insane. You know, um, we've had so many conversations on this show, endless conversations of like, you know, all these people, incredible people. And if you ask me the quote, that or person or thing that was said that stuck with me more than anything else. It was by a, a person by the name of Nade shot who came on our show and he described vividly in detail, the chaos that was always being on the YouTube clock. Always. You work your fucking ass off to put an episode together. City after city, brand deals, thumbnails, editing, subtitles, captions, tags, actors people paying this person doing this all these different things to push go live and immediately start thinking about what the next video is that is hell that is hell on earth bro and mm -hmm. i i honestly don't know and and, and once again this is not complaining no I, and I hope none of no us one, are getting it that okay way. Please, no no because this is a luxurious situation and a bougie situation and i know there's a lot of people out there who fucking struggle and they work their asses off but it is, it, 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 it has really put me in a spot where I've not been able to, to do anything else. And, and my fear is unfortunately because of how the world works these days, my fear is that if I take my foot off the gas pedal, I will be forgotten. 
And I and I and that scares me. And I'm not saying that that's even right or even what's going to happen, but it scares me. It's a fear that I have. So I had the same fear. I would also, but then I had this thing called impulsive. I've told you both this, bro. This this show is the definitely one of one of the biggest blessings in my life. Same. We do this show every week. In all the midst of the chaos that happens in all of our lives, we fucking show up and we sit down and we have conversations for people to watch every single week. The, that always on type of content will ensure, especially because of how good you are, that you're not gonna, you're not going to be forgotten. That's it, it, that's just false. That's not that's not reality. You're not going to be forgotten, and especially if it's affecting your mental health, like slippery slope, dude. You know, and maybe that's why you were in a, a bad place. I was, and so I actually do have uh, some advice if you would love my, course, my opinion. <clears throat> I kind of I have the same mindset as Logan, but just a tiny bit different. One, you're going to be forgotten. Regardless of oh, how yeah, sure. big you take it. Right. So that gives me peace. Yeah. Regardless if you're, it's you or Logan or true, Michael Jackson true. or, yeah, or yeah, Elvis. Sure. Yep. And, and at a certain point, you're going to be forgotten. Yeah. I love that. So <laughs> I, what I would like for you to do, bro, is because we all believe in you. We all seen you get out of way worse situations. And that feeling of clicking the button and then needing to do another one is a form of addiction. Now, your addiction isn't hurting you anymore. It's actually providing good for you. And that sometimes could be tricky as well because yeah. it's a double-edged sword. My theory to you is you don't have to lose anything for you to gain. If your house right now is overweighing you because it's a mansion, what I would do is maybe this isn't the right time. Great decision. Lease it out for a year. Yeah, I can. Put some tenants in there to cover the mortgage so that way you can move on comfortably living a life where you could create comfortably and plan a five-year future. And then when your two feet are strong on firm on the ground, then you just ask the attendants, hey, we're not going to renew. I'm going back to my kingdom. But your kingdom is never going to be taken away from you. The only person that can take it away from you is you. And the traction that you're going, you're going to burn yourself out or get in a crash. And so what like I would say, crash. like a car crash, <laughs> like actually burn. <laughs> I want you to be super successful. And dude, having a female, not girls at the club that are, you want attention from. I'm talking about a good woman. A good woman is a backbone to yeah, a man, yeah. bro. It, it, it could provide so much. My life significantly changed and I would have never made these two years that were hard for me if I didn't have Belle. And I would sit down with you, bro, and we could we can meet great women in great areas. Well, you but, know, you guys know, by the way, that like, I don't... You don't want I'm a relationship. A, no, it's, no, 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 it's not that. I'm not... I don't want to like make my lifestyle seem... I, I, I'll bash my lifestyle myself. Like, I'm not out here being like, oh, I like the things I'm doing. I hope you guys know that. Like, I'm envious of what you guys have. I just, because of my scenario, this is just what I've allowed myself by the way that I, I approach things and the way that I speak to myself internally. And, and so, we should be your safety net. No, you are. No, so, you are. so that's I what I'm saying. Like, take real. those leaps so yeah. we could do it together as a group, bro. Like, the what, listen, this is what I told my mom the other day. I go, I get really sad about this generation because uh, uh, there's no um, gathering. There's no committee. There's no like, what is it? What's the word? I had it in my head when I was talking to her, but it's um, community? a like, community, bro. Right, right. A real community, bro, with people in your face, not behind keyboards. I know. And you have one right here, bro. We're blessed yeah, to sure. see there's 15 people here. So I, I knew you were dealing with this, but we never really talked about it at this level. And if these are, dude, it, it just takes one habit away. Take one, ha you don't have to change your whole life. Right. Take one habit away. Say you want to keep going to the clubs because you're enjoying your life. I don't really go as much. As I, I, I'm giving an example. Got, I'm just giving an example. If, if, if that's the case, then just make sure you're up by six. So that way you could go to the gym. You could do some recovery. You could like read a fucking Tony Robbins book or a Bible or or the Quran or the Old Testament. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. This is why yeah. this is why I stand up for religion, bro, because it is that one center in the universe where everybody could be like, fuck, bro. My friends have failed me. My family has failed me. And guess what? I have failed myself, but God will not fail me. And you dive into it. Unless you're gay. Unless you're gay. Can't do it if you're gay. So, guys, guys, these jokes are so bad. No, he, well, Logan's not joking. I'm, well, not, I'm your Bible very says. much joking. No, no I don't, it's no, not God, true. God, We're not going please, back to please, that. Please, please, please. By the way, he just did it. Did you see that? Did you see I was having a moment? He's like, no, that yeah, was good. You hate so, gays. That was good. Small, stop. No, small. I didn't say that. I, I, by the way, I, I, 
Never. I caught you. Use the verbiage. What? You hate gays. All right. Yes. All right. I or, never. No, no the ever producer. Said that. The producer is saying we are back to the other topic. Small. You, what you're what you're preaching right now, Jordan, is incredible for anyone in the audience because this is <laughs> this is what I do. And the re another reason I don't work on myself is because a lot of times I want to provide value to other people. Yeah. And that's kind of like one of my shields. So I will do that right now. What you're saying right now is the greatest thing, it, word of advice you can give to the audience right now. Small change. Make it, it, Dave, David even preaches it. The German. If I am one percent better tomorrow than I was today, that's all. That's all I need to fucking do. Get better every day, just a little bit better in your habits, in the boundaries boundaries you set for yourself, in the in the things that you do to make your life more fulfilling. And I and I have done that. I've made some good strides, dude. I I, I definitely am not what I once was, and I and I and I could see myself um, getting there. And so. Um, that's, that's my hope for 2023 is that I can press the brake a little bit and maybe start to work on some things that can provide like a little bit more of a fulfilling long-term solution for me. It's just, it's just hard. Have a baby. I'm just kidding. Just well, imagine. I have been trying to just, uh, have a baby. Well, you already had one. You just, you know, you just... no, he ended up being black. So it's <laughs> not mine. <laughs> It's not. It's actually not. I mine. think he's technically light skinned. Yeah, he's light skinned. But um, is it true that uh, Steve Nash went through that? Like he didn't know his wife cheated on him until labor. Is this a true thing? I heard that, but I don't know the real story. I also it. heard that. I I I heard the the baby came out black, and dude, he, and he's a white guy, and his wife's white. Bro, I don't know. I, what and I, I would think do. I think it was with a teammate. I think it was with a teammate. It was. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm remembering this. It was, bro. What would you do? I, I'm sorry to put us in this scenario and no, like, switch it. the topic up, but we definitely are talking off camera to to make sure. We, I don't want to like just brush past this conversation that you were bringing up. No, we're going to brush past it. I assure you, we'll never talk about my situation again because no. I, I, I will. That's the thing about me. I don't really like to talk about myself. And to be honest, I'd oh, much well, rather talk about the hypothetical yeah. with the baby. We'll talk about this afterwards. Okay, me and, you. Sure. and then also, so just now you're in the hospital, right? <laughs> me you're personally? Like, oh, yes. Right now? Listen, hold on. You're oh, holding your wife's hands. You're kissing her sweaty forehead and you're like, baby, breathe. And she's like, <sighs> And you're like, push. And it's like, wah. But this wah is different. It sounds athletic. And you're like, whoa, what's going wah, on here? Wah. For three. <laughs> <laughs> wah. And then it comes out and it's a black baby. Yeah. But this is the woman you love. You have a ring on it. Yeah. And you never knew that this was even imaginable. What what what's the what's the first thing going through your guys' head? I call my family and be like, yo. It, do we have any black descendants? <laughs> Is there a chance? 100%. That I'm 100%. A, a that's part, probably, partially I, black. In my head, I go, that's crazy th that that happened. I, I got to be black. Am I black? <laughs> yeah, that's what I would ask. That's the first question I would ask. I'll be like, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Dude, I don't know what I would do. I would think I would just die inside, bro. Is it because she cheated on you? But you're kind of ethnic. Yeah. Yeah, bro, I ain't black. You might be. You know what I mean? Like, I think I'm ethnic, but like, I'm not black. You know what I mean? Like, I hear what you're saying, but you do have a tint. But I, I got some swagger to me, you know? I don't know what that has to do with anything. Yeah, what's that have to do with anything? I think... Wait, can you be racist if you if you associate good qualities with a race? Oh, my God. Bro, everybody's racist no, 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 if that's no, no, the no, case. No, 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 Hold on. Every black person I know is nice as fuck. Every black person I know has hella swag. No, they're the dopest like if, fucking people culture I've ever met in my life. Like they make great food. Like if you say that is, yeah, like if you say that. I think that's racist. Yeah, you guys that, are racist. I think it's racist. Is that? Uh-huh. But dude, there's some like, listen. That's an interesting question, bro. Okay, question. Because actually, dude, it, you, it could be conceived as, or sorry, perceived as, sorry, perceived as, if you said that black people are really good basketball players and rappers. Like they, that's like a th that, whole that, thing. It's a huge thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's not what I said. No, I know you didn't say that, but what I'm saying is that's like kind of a compliment that they make the best athletes and rappers, but also it becomes problematic. Is this racist? If I'm sitting in a desk taking a test and there's yes. a white kid to the left of me and an Asian kid to the right of me, and I choose to cheat off the Asian 100%. kid as racist. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It, who's smarter? The Asian kid. Do you know that for, for sure? I, if I had to bet my bottom dollar. See, if you're taking a guess, you're racist. racist. Fuck. Okay. Okay. If, but if, efficiently racist, though, because maybe it ends up paying off for you through the score. Doesn't matter how efficient you are if you're racist. You just can't be racist. You have to what be, be anti-racist. What if you're... 
Okay, so if I see that, if I see George cheating purposely off the Asian who I know he doesn't know, I should stand up in class and scold him. 100%. 100%. Yo, you fucking... And then I would be like, why is the white guy yelling at me? Yeah, see, now... Racist. <laughs> <laughs> it just turns into a, a circle of racism. And then the Asian person gets mad at you for yelling at you, me. You shut up. The Asian person hasn't even looked up from his paper. He's still doing... Let me say something. He's still something. going to Let town. Let me say something. We're, we're joking right now, and this is all in jest. Oh, yeah. yeah. And... I have this feeling of optimism and confidence that hopefully humanity can get to a spot where we do all really love each other and can 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 make jokes and have fun and see past our differences and see what makes us special as a collective eventually. And I really think that Gen Z, the generation below us, the young, the youngsters, are gonna help us get there. Mm. Wiz said yesterday on the podcast how how emotionally intuitive it seems like Gen Z is. Yeah. And I I think uh I think it's gonna be really good for humanity. I think they're gonna be like a really revolutionary uh They were fed up um uh, generation. Yeah. What's the next one again after them? I don't know. What's after Gen Z? Alpha? Alpha? Oh, oh. That, those <laughs> ones are dope. no, 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 no. That we're done. What? That's yo, that's yo, when yo, the yo, world's yo, over. Yo. What, what's the what's the what's the uh Timeline for Alpha Generation. Yeah. 2015. And the one underneath that are the those alpha top generation. G's? Yo, are you serious? Alpha? Hold on a second. Tell me the next generation after them is not the betas. That sucks, no, bro. No, no way. They're actually that omegas. Sucks, They're just fish dude. oils. All of them. That's I, whack, bro. Yeah, we got to talk about liver gig. We have to, huh? Oh, shit. So do you know that our podcast was the first public forum he said where he that. was asked about doing steroids and he, he that was the first time he lied. Yep. The first who time, asked him? Uh, Andrew Schultz and crew on Flagrant. No, no, no. Who asked him on our podcast? I don't fucking know. Somebody just threw it out. I don't uh, know. But he, de he denied. So, But he the, denied it hard, bro. And, and, and continued to do so every Other pod podcast and you know interview that he did. Yeah. He, he would deny having used steroids. And like we all knew that he was lying. And then he got exposed... Uh, for being on a fuckload of shit, like a lot of shit, like like twelve thousand dollars worth of month. So, so much stuff that he, my man, could probably eat a cheeseburger for every meal every single day, not work out, and still look like he does. So here's the thing, because <laughs> the message that Liver King is preaching is actually a great one. Is it though? Yes, it is. Is what? it though? What? I think it is. What is it though? Which one? Which I do message? think. Is it I, I, I think his. I think his nine ancestral tenets and and. Oh, oh that part, not the eating of the raw meat, bro. Right. You could do the same well, thing while eating them. a burger well done. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, could yeah. be a man Sorry, and I'm, cook your no, shit. No, no, I'm talking. I'm talking about. I'm talking. I'm more talking about his um his his like self doubt conversation. Yeah, and, but he's and, selling a product. That's my only issue. So that's that's, that's my fucking issue, bro. bingo. And it's everyone's issue, and that and that's why it's bad because liver didn't get you to where you are. Injecting your asshole did. Yeah. You're so, an asshole. And also, I, you know what it pissed me off, bro? Like, and again, I'm not trying to sit here and bash, but like, have you, fuck, this is hard because I don't want to, never mind. I don't want to say this. I don't want to be that guy. You, you guys take it. You want to know the hardest part about the hardest uh, I'm going to go pee real quick. Like it to swallow for me. Well, besides the testicles that he made us eat. The hardest part to swallow for me <laughs> was um, he may be the nicest person I've ever met in my entire life. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. He, like, like you, you don't, you wouldn't think this when you just see him. But my first, if you ask me, yo, how would you describe Liver King in person, behind the scenes, off the show? He is a sweet, sweet man, but so smelly. Like he smells. He's so. He bad. smells so. I don't bad. know if I've ever met someone who smells worse. Never. I've ever, never. I don't ever. think. I think what he secretes is probably the equivalent or akin to mustard gas. I feel like you could bottle what comes out of his armpits and kill so, Nazis. With so it. this is what's making the rounds now because they're they're saying now. That besides the steroid thing, it's just like words getting out that he kind of is fucking smelly. And it's because he doesn't wear body uh, uh, deodorant. What? Body deodorant. <laughs> he doesn't wear deodorant on his body. He doesn't wipe his butt when he poops. No, that part's not true. Yes, it is. That part's not true. I seen it. Nobody's saw it. not wiping it. He doesn't wipe his butt because... You saw what? He intakes so much fiber that his poop basically just like falls out of his butt. It liquefies? No, I think it's solid. I think it's solid stool. So solid that it leaves no trace. 
He has wipeless shit. Yes. That's a that's a superhuman skill. Do you know what how excited <laughs> Dylan I get? Goes pretty awesome. Do you know how You're excited right. I get about yeah. a one wipe? You know, I told you. Did I? Ever yeah, tell you, you did. This? You did, bro. When I go to a, to me, the idea of heaven is a one wipe public restroom use. If I go to a public restroom, uh, like or a porta potty, and I get a one wiper, you know, when you look and you're like, holy shit, there's nothing. It's a miracle. Wow. And you walk out and you play the lottery. Me the most confident I've ever been when I, I throw some of that <laughs> hand shit on. But bro, he, so he doesn't shit when he, when he, or he doesn't wipe when he shits. Is that a true statement? You guys fucking. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Yeah. True. Why doesn't he do that? He do, well, he, you can't you go to the bathroom, be, yeah, bro. Yeah, then, you had to be yeah. here. But then, but then, he, <laughs> but then he smell. he smells like, I would say smells like decaying flesh. Like he smells like if you were to, if you were to die in Coney Island in the middle of like August, <laughs> And your body wasn't discovered for like 13 to 17 days. And it was under like a pier. So it was moisturized as well as it rotted. That would be the smell that is secreted from his armpits. Like it's it's basically like um, the opposite of the cinnamon toast crunch milk. It's the, it's the, it's hellfire. His arms shoot hellfire. Is how I would describe yeah, it. Yeah, but, and it's a shame because he's so nice. The sweetest person. He's I've really ever met fucking in my life. awesome. I just wish he hadn't lied. And it makes me a little uncomfortable maybe to say this next part and we may cut it, but I'm so curious what's going on with his family. I that's why I didn't say it. That's exactly what, what I was gonna you, say. What does that mean? You're talking about his son, right? And his wife. Well, when he eats the food in the videos, it looks like they're not having fun. It, it, it just something doesn't look right. It looks for some, something does actors. I don't know what it is, but 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 truthfully, the fact that he lied about the steroids makes me think how far. Oh, he's come in, on. I swear to God, Bro, I sent him oh, videos months ago nah, about this it. This is where I'll stand up. You are not going to fucking Alex Jones, Sandy Hook, my fucking what? guy, bro. You're not going to say his life is uh, is a falsehood. What are you talking about? You can't just de-exist his life like that. That's what I'm saying. You said his family was paid actors. No. no what the did. fuck? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, what I did not. Fuck? No, sorry. no. I, I, I just, just not having it. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Watch his wife closely in the videos. Does she look okay? Does she look okay? Oh, you think they're hostages? I, in, a, in a weird way, kind of. I, I uh, and even the son, the son has his own Instagram, and he, he he's like liver boy here, and he eats a liver. You can tell this kid's fucking dying, and having a <laughs> having a dad, who, I, you guys laugh, but having a dad who is really intense for a father. Oh, you go through that. I knew what it was like to be a kind of scared kid trying to find his own in this world, and sort of following the the path of my dad because it's all I knew, and discovering at age seventeen that I might be a little different and have like more idealistic goals than maybe he had for himself when he was a kid. And liver King is way more intense than Greg Paul. If he, if, if he in real life is anything like he's on, on he's camera, more, bro. that's what I'm saying. Like doors, bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if those kids are having probably the easiest childhood. I don't know what it's like inside that house. And, it, and I'm really curious about it. And I'd like to see I, a, a just, Netflix documentary on it. But I've seen the opposite. Uh, the other side of Liver King, bro, and he's he's uh Mike. You've seen him fuck. You cross paths with yep, him twice. Yep. Once on a podcast and once in Vegas when we were in the fucking hallway, yeah. hammered at yep. two a.m. Yep. And guess what? Yep. He fucking smelled. He smelled. He so was so bad. smelly. Anyways, so Liver bad. King. I don't know about you. I, I do. Liver I don't know King, about I'm you. I'm here bro. to defend you, and I think because I asked man. you on my podcast if you did steroids and you lied to my fucking face. Maybe I don't know angry. about you. Are you. Did he ever angry? apologize? Are you no. angry? No. Is that why you're no. calling his kids actors and hostages? No, I'm not calling them actors. I'm calling them hostages. <laughs> 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 no, no. I, it's something that we've always we shared videos. Be like, does he look like he's happy? Me and George go back and forth. This like, is what we get no, along you here. Just, you just <laughs> if we're ever going to get canceled, now's the time. Now everybody gather together. Yo, I'm going to be honest why? with why? you. Why? Can I, no, can I, just, can like I said, sternly say something to you too? Yes. And I mean this. Stop talking about cancer. It's him. It's and, fucking no, no, him. No, it's fucking him, him too, bro. Too no, much, you're bro. an agent of the Matrix. Nothing. You're an is. agent of the bro, Matrix. Bro. And Tate was a, right. A, Andrew Tate sent me. Uh, I'm actually just an undercover spy. <laughs> I'm actually not even a Syrian. I'm Persian. Dude, dude, dude. I do, 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 do,
Yeah. That's what liver king's armpits do can, when I see him. Can we please invite Andrew Tate on and have him no, no, talk? No, 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 no. I I've changed my my yeah, so my my mind about we Andrew flipped. Tate. We flipped. And I'll tell you why. No, not the same way. I'll tell you. I'll tell oh, you why. Because we this we guy can something. fucking dance his ass off. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, this fucking video, <laughs> bro. He's been fucking crushing it. He's a good dancer. It's, not really him. it's actually is him. No, 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 no. He taught me no, how no. to do look, that. Look, 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 dude. He's been fucking crushing. Look at this. That is not him, bro. <laughs> he's destroying it. And he makes he makes videos like these all the time in between the top G stuff. But like, look, <laughs> he even boxing him, in the gym. Bro. No, no, no. People underestimate really how capable Andrew Tate is. My man can shake that ass. My man can shake that ass. And no one's even saying anything about it. This one, after Andrew Tate, after finding out his IG got deleted, no worries. He's dancing in his room. Are you going to put these on screen or are you just going to look at the phone? <laughs> I, I like what do you can I ask you? You guys genuinely hate him. No, no. What the fuck? No. Oh, because I, I, I fuck with a lot of the shit he says. Not no obviously shit you do. You're a racist, yeah. <laughs> homophobic Christian. <laughs> <laughs> obviously you do. No, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Stop. <laughs> and you hate women. You think women are inferior to men. Yeah, of course. Hundred percent. That's not even a joke. My girlfriend right now is in the kitchen, just waiting around. <laughs> she's not. She doesn't have anything to do. Is she a sim? She's no. She's a woman in the kitchen. We just talked about this. No, too far. I took it too far, bro. He's a troll, bro. No, I we think there's sometimes that he trolls, but there's sometimes he, he does say good that, things. Yes, we agree with that. I, I changed my. I already told Aiden Ross. Bob, Aiden, I've always been on that top G yet. shit. Aiden Ross is in Dubai right now Ooh. with Tate. Uh, they've been hanging out. Fucking. It, it, no, I don't know. In in all reality, all he does the whole time is make fun of Aiden. I don't know why Aiden sits there and just and just. I think does shows. I think they're talking. I think they're time. fucking. But dude. no, let me say this, bro. I I told Aiden before he went out there. I said, "Yo, you tell Tate. That you tell, I want to fuck you. No, you tell that fucking <laughs> Tate, bro. You tell him that I. I think that the I think our approach was a little. I think we our approach was a little bit. Too harsh, bro. Shut the fuck up. I'm not backing down for shit. That guy's a I pussy. Nah. That guys no, a fucking. No, you guys are both wrong. That guy's no, a fucking no, bitch, and he's just like I'm it, on the tate no, 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 no. I'm on the tate tit, and I go again. Give me course, some more nourishment, bro. You, you, you hate women. You hate gays, no, and you're true. racist. No, of course, you like Andrew no, Tate. You no. fucking scumbag. I'm in between. On the Andrew, two. if you're watching this, invite me on. I'd like to have a conversation with you one on one. I would love to actually like ask him legitimate yeah, questions. He's he, such a bitch. Because you're bro. a matrix worker. No, 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 no. I am a matrix no, 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 worker. No, no, no. I'm trying to get everybody no, no, out no, of the no, matrix. No, no, no. I'm an no, no, undercover no, no, no. spy. Notice how much more tame he is ever since he got let back on social media. He's back on social media? He's a fucking hypocrite. The he's moment not, he, well, he wasn't really let back. I mean, he was he's, he's back he's, on Twitter. He's back on social media. Which, and you will Instagram? not, I promise you will not hear him saying any of the outlandish shit that he was saying in the past. The shit that got him banned. Why? Because he's scared. He's scared and doesn't want to be Reband, like uh, who was who was Kanye? I, I got I got I got to step in. I don't think he was ever kicked off, bro. I, I never seen more of him than when no, he got kicked those off. Those are the other pages. What the fuck are you talking about? No, bro, when he got like, kicked no, off, like the fan page. No, but I'm shit. saying he has his like his own little. It looks like he's in a dungeon. I don't know where he's at, but he's smoking cigars with his brother. But dude, it's always on my feed. Listen, if if anybody got canceled like that, then like canceling is not even no, a no, fucking no, thing no, anymore. No, no, no. Okay, uh, uh, the. The economics of being deplatformed are actually incredibly favorable to the person who yeah, got deplatformed. Sure. We know that. Okay, 100%. so I so I, I see I see what you're saying, and you're right. Yeah. But he made it back. He it was it's he did it in a really interesting time where Elon took over and was like, "Oh, you, we didn't agree with what you've done in the past. Well, that's fine. You're you're allowed back." So in a in a way, it was he, like a, he got a free life. Like an essential, essential. He got a plus <laughs> one. No, he got, he got a plus one. He got like a, uh, yes, Kanye he did too, but then he died again. Kanye, <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, exactly. it's Kanye. Kanye died again. And then he was like, like bro, and then he just jumped off the cliff. You know, what Kanye did, honestly, was like, it was like if Elon was Mario and he was like, good news, Luigi, you have a free life. And Luigi came back and was like, I'm back. Fuck you, Mario. You're a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm going to post a picture of you getting sprayed with a fucking hose on a boat looking all fat and stupid. And Elon was like, I heard Mario was like, okay, Luigi, go back to the nether realms with the Nazis. Like, <laughs> it just kicked him off again, bro. But the reason I say the Tate shit is because maybe it's because of what you're saying. Now he is like, he hasn't been like. Oh, it's funny how that works. No, but maybe you're Fucking right. I don't dumb know. Hypocrite, I don't know, but pussy also, ass bitch. All right, well, don't talk like me. that. Uh, because guess that. what, bro? Guess what? I thought you were saying that to me. Nah, guess what? What? 
I beat that ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> uh, we're too deep. No, on this podcast. I gotta go home. No, no, no. I got more stuff. I got more stuff. I do too. I do too. But um, but um, no, no, no. But I'm um, <laughs> too. <laughs> but um, you know if I know if, you know if I know I'm a uh, <laughs> what up, the man. fuck happened? What to you, are you bro? saying? Did man? you just malfunction? You sim. <laughs> You know if I know I'm gonna be fucking. Oh what the fuck! I, I have an answer. I have an answer. I, no one asked the no, question. No, 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 no one asked the question. What do you have an answer for? What do you mean you asked you the question? Just asked no, the question. I said, sorry. I was. Uh, yes. No, I didn't. No, I'm leading myself in. <laughs> you know that if I know I'm gonna be fucking. What did you think I said? You know That's how what you just said. <laughs> I, it's not like I think. No, I no. Did. You no, just even was, repeated it. I can I tell saying. you what no, you no, said. What I said was. You know, it what when if I know I'm gonna be fucking, and I was gonna continue with what I'll do that day. But what am, what question am I asking? Do, like, do you know how I know I'm gonna be fucking? Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's not what I said. But go ahead, answer the question. If you can find a girl sub fifty thousand on Instagram with the with the um uh, uh, uh I like it was better I, when I just held on to it. No, I like so, you know, for, uh, micro influencers and micro penises. So when you know. What I do when I know I'm going to be fucking that night, I do arms at the gym. Like biceps Why? and triceps. Is somebody calling you? That's a siren, George. Hello? Hey, man, are you, are you fucking, fucking okay, okay over there? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? George? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> what? what was the point? And so how did you malfunction? Me, me. You just try to start that. What you? What the fuck are you going on Bro, about? That I if you three... work out arms, you're going to oh, fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so if I know I'm going to fuck later that night, I, I'll do arms at the gym. Hey, buddy, so does every fucking guy in the world. George, can you just... Don't, don't die in the sales. Just let the men talk. Okay, I'm sorry. That sounds like... <sighs> what I was saying was because... I think that you should really be dominant in the bedroom. Logan, I'd like an apology. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I would know. like an apology. No, I, don't, oh, no, I had no. a right to explain. Because, because no. when we were driving over here, you said that we should have some sex talk stuff. And so I was preparing this <laughs> idea, right? Where, bro, sometimes I'll get really lazy in the bedroom because of my old age, right? I'll just be like, Hey, yeah, you want to get on top? And she's like, but I always get on top. You're so stupid and lazy like a big potato. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'll do to reinforce the idea that I do still have a pulse is <laughs> I will flex my arm muscles, bro. Oh. Like this. Oh. And I want to advise the men watching this that if you could just flex occasionally... <laughs> Well, you're fucking, yeah. it can just add a little bit of dominatory spirit to your fucking. <laughs> this, is, this doesn't sound crazy, right? I know you do this. I, I know you do this, bro, because you're you're like one of those type of people that would do something like this. But like, are you talking about like this? Nah, not, not necessarily. Mike's fucking, Mike's, Mike's fucking. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> no, because, okay. All right. Yeah, you want to go rent a burger after this, babe? <laughs> no, because. Here you, burger she wrote. 9.2. <laughs> it's a nine. You like that? It's a nine point six. Nine point six, I said. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Check out these pythons. Did you fucking turn on? I was like, no, let's do cocaine. They, you, because I think I put you run it through my veins. No, because I think there's. We'll go to high ho after. No, Me you, babe. <laughs> is he Hulk Hogan? What's going on? <laughs> no, because I think there's I a gotta lot go home. I no, gotta go home. I think there's a lot to be said about the the, the positioning of. I gotta go home. Yeah. yeah. I like this podcast. Should we all shake hands? I felt like this podcast kind of did one of these. I things. gotta go right. home. I came four times already today. All, all right, that's my- it. No, on this podcast, <laughs> <laughs> he came four times. We're not done yet. Yeah, I don't think we're done. <laughs> no shot. I'm warming up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I think dogs are the greatest thing on, that have ever been invented. If someone asked you your favorite animal and you don't say dogs, you're not actually right. Then <laughs> then you might as well be a Christian at that point. <laughs> because you're, you hate gays. <laughs> like, well, you hate dogs? It's pretty obvious. 
You know, you know when you played superlatives with like a girl, you meet it for the first time. You're like, "What's your favorite animal?" And she's like, "Oh, I like like a lo- I like a pony." Yeah, no, a pony's fine. Here's the, yeah, but it's not more fine than a dog. A do- dogs are the best animal on this planet. Bar not hands down. Bar not. Here's where my bar not. Here's where my mental and emotional execution shooting squad comes out when they start raving about their love for cats. Oh, interesting. I love my oh, cat. Oh, congrats, cat's cool. bro. It is a wrap. It is a wrap. You want to come home to a cold, stupid animal that doesn't give a fuck about your existence. But that's you the beauty home, in cats. Nah, fuck that. You come home, that cat sticks its tail in the air and exposes that dirty brown butthole that is dried up and disgusting. I fucking hate cats, bro. No, nope. I'll still pet them. No, because if you <laughs> if you so if you much. have a, still pet them. if you have a good cat and they exist, you have a good cat. Yeah, Leo, right? That's Leonardo DiCaprio is his name. Can I have one, please? I like your cat. I do. But 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 okay, I I I notoriously tweeted this and it it, it did real well. <laughs> you can love dogs. That's okay. You can love cats. That's okay. You can hate cats, and that's okay. But if you meet someone that hates dogs, <laughs> no, you no, no, no. <laughs> run for your fucking life. That's a red there is flag. no red flag deeper than that. Oh, no. I don't like dogs. No, I don't like you. I do not like you, bro. Do- I think uh, I think humans don't even deserve dogs. No, no, no way. No, no way. No not way. Dude, Tommy's the greatest thing that's ever I happened. I love that dog. Do, do, dogs, dog. do dogs go to their version of heaven? If, if they don't, I'm going to be very upset. And what if does they God have, say like, about it? There's a movie. God? There's a movie. What does God say about animals in, in heaven and hell? Or do they don't get that treatment? No, he does talk. About, like, he, Hold on. No, no, no. There is something. He's like, we have, we have domain over them, and we should be treating them with like love. Like Everything he wants you to do is treat out of love. So I think you'd be very disappointed in how our farms are treating our animals. And how like the animals are hung upside down and all that stuff. So become a Jesus vegan. Jesus would not be a, So become okay. a fucking vegan. Wait, George. so the dog does go to heaven? I think I or no? I don't know, bro. I, well, I what does your Bible say? It doesn't say anything about it, again. I'll, I'll do it again. <laughs> no one knows who is going to heaven but the Father. What does the Father say about dogs? I mean, that's a good boy. Oh yeah, I can see it. John see three se- <laughs> John three seventeen. I can see that. Dogs to explain the existence of God. Some people use the existence of dogs to explain the existence of God. What did he say? What did that man over there say? Dog is God. It's even the same word with the same oh, letters. Oh, it's backwards, bro. Is there a chance that when you go to heaven? Oh, my God. Here he goes again, burning in hell. And don't forget about those pineapples they stick in your butthole. You'll see Kong the Savage. I I, I pray I do. In, so that in, way I could just be like in a pastor. So outfit. sorry about your owner. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a good boy? Not your owner. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Would it shock you if you went to heaven and God is a dog, and 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 He says this to you? It's the same letters, our names, God, dog. You're just dyslexic, George. <laughs> <laughs> but you are. You are. Dyslexic. You are. It would make sense. God is not that a checks dog. Out. That this rationale actually checks Yo. out. Well, technically, we were made in His image, so no. Made in his image. What if we're the dogs and the dogs are made in his image and we're the pets? What if, what, what about, all right, all right. Here's an image. I'll give you a fucking image. I'm going to Twitter for some questions, by the way. Where's my image? Get off of my, that's my comment. You have it. <laughs> give me it. Give me it. I made, a, I made Christmas cards this year with my girlfriend. Look. Me, Nina. Our two dogs, Quinn and Daisy, and Dudley the Triceratops. We put Santa Claus hats on Dudley's horns, and we sent these Christmas cards out to some people. I gave George this Christmas card yesterday when we were shooting podcasts here at this house. And I walked in today, and it was sitting in the same spot that it was yesterday. I don't actually like chilies. Not sure that how that's relevant. Because <laughs> no, you're trying to paint me as a mean friend. But the only reason I said 
I like Chili's is because it's 0.2 miles away from your house and I wanted mm -hmm. you to show up to my birthday and you still did it. Oh, he will never let that go. So by the fuck way. your card and fuck your girlfriend you know that, that can't shit in front of you. I think now you've insulted me. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly told you I did forget and I had it in my hand when you walked in. Does our friendship mean anything to you? <laughs> <laughs> Give it back to me. It's going in my fridge. Really? You, you know, it's not, there's only one picture on my fridge, only one, and it's Jed and his family. And I'm going to put that right next to it. So yes, yeah, please. Jed, Jed, the guy who reviews every single one of these podcast episodes also sends Christmas cards. I have it in my kitchen. He's a right stud, now. by the way. Jed, you got some competition, man. Not, no, you don't. This is going to go up on the fridge. Your, I honestly do appreciate your this. Your family guy, look how cute is this. subpar compared to the Walls family, bro. I, know, I, have, I, the, I have Jed's card on my on my. To, um, counter every year. Yeah. Right now, if you go in my house, there's just a random family. Not even pictures of my own family. There is a random Wallace family yeah. hanging above my countertop in my kitchen. That's mm -hmm. it. That's the only picture people are. And speaking of pictures of people, uh, Patty the Batty shit all over Prime. I they couldn't believe it. Oh, Actually, wow. I, I could, bro, I could he took it. a steaming dump. No, they weren't. Let me let me preface this. They weren't. He had a little thing going with Jake. And a lot of people got shit going with Jake. And I've had interactions with Patty the Batty, passing by conversations. We've talked multiple times, both online and in person, about all kinds of things. And I thought we had a rapport. I thought that Patty the Batty would come on the impulsive show. Let me tell you something. And we were going to have a, a good podcast we root for patty he's a fellow barstool ambassador yeah, yeah, yeah. we thought we had a good thing with the pimblet just a fellow scouser and then i see this <laughs> fucking video did, of him yeah. holding up some drink and i'm not going to get into the quality of the drinks because as everyone knows i ain't got no fucking equity and i'm done done talking about this fucking well i'm beverage. fucking not go let me tell you why that video was an so. L on, on multiple accords. On who's a part? On who's part? On Who Patty's, took the L? Patty's. Oh, Patty took the It's L. a pretty fucking embarrassing video. Okay, talk to me. You are now associated with a cheap shit copycat beverage brand. It looks almost identical yeah, to that Prime. that was crazy. The formula that they even use to create the drink, which is um, less calories, less sugar, is, is I think the sticking point. So he, he made a comparison video. Here's another L. That is identical to the comparison videos that I made. And he lied in the video. He poured out sugar at one part to show Prime's two grams of sugar. And he poured a fuckload of it. I could technically sue the fuck out of you for that misinformation. And that's a fact. You fucking lied. The brand is shit. It makes Patty look like a cheap sellout. He promoted Prime in the video, right? The comparison is is like no one's no, no one's gonna go buy that fucking drink. They're just they're just gonna make him go buy Prime. <laughs> I even commented. I said thanks for the promo, and I like Patty. How could I, you not? I think he's really entertaining, and I'm excited for his fight tonight. Actually, oh, yeah. I'm excited to see what happens in his fight tonight. Oh, where are you guys watching that? By the way, we have our holiday dinner tonight at Buca de Beppo. A impulsive holiday dinner at Buca de Beppo. <laughs> How funny is that? Yeah, After guys. All the conversation about the PDA, and tonight I'm gonna have to watch him fuck at the Italian restaurant. <laughs> Dude, you know, you know, none of these guys are actually about it though. Jake offered Patty a million dollars to come spar him. That's it. it. Turns out, surprise, surprise, he's not actually about it. Can I say? Can I say where where to I spar? Can I say where Patty might have been right? Ooh, conflict. <sighs> Steal like an artist. You see a great product. Just, True. Totally. Just recreate it. Totally. totally. Just repackage the same thing. Totally. Win number one. Uh, what was the second L you said? Oh, oh, you put out that comparison video. Yeah. That comparison video crushed. I can't believe it. Crushed. Steal like an artist. Recreate it. It was great. I agree. Uh, and to be completely honest with you, uh, I'm currently looking for a hydration partner. Oh. Uh, so Patty, uh, if you'd like to reach out to me via DM, I'm um, looking for a hydration partner. No, 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 no. That's not Patty's decision. No, you can no, talk no, no, to the no, no, higher no. ups. Patty was paid surely. by a brand to promote a product. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm surely. building a brand with my partners. Thank you. For Why'd you point at George? 
KSI. <laughs> when he's not here, you point at George. He's well, because I don't ask for a percentage every time my no, friend's product. No, 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 no. It's like joke, this is it's, well, it's, a, of, it's like one of those. It's a cre- it's, like it's a it's a creator like, product. It's a product I love. It's it's become a part of my content. And now you just pooping. Now you just look like a fucking shitter. And he doesn't like people that shit, bro. No, I don't think that's true. I, I just think this, bro. I think. Uh, He's going to lose tonight because of all that action. I think today he's going to lose. That would suck. Because then he, Logan could say that his loss was fueled by King or whatever it is that he promotes. I'm, I'm never going to say the fuck. It's not King, by the way. That one's, that one's a direct. There, one. there's a, there's That's a, the funny there's a, there's a, Caleb, you love that one. That one's Kevin, there's, too. There's a, uh, hydra- another hydration brand called King. And again, the branding looks... no. It, Eerily similar no, to Prime. Eerily similar. <laughs> it's Prime. It just says King. <laughs> so, so uh, our lawyer, who is the best in the world, sent them a very strong cease and desist dis- 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 letter. Uh, that product no longer exists. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I have to go home. Yeah. Dude, go I, home. I, I gotta leave. Go no, 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 because this, I want to know something. This show's not over. It's not <laughs> over. Show is not I really have a question. Over, I really bro. have a question. I really have a, a genuine question. What is it? Why is everyone posting those cartoon AI oh renders of themselves? Because you, they're are, actually showing their real identity because everybody else besides us apparently are drones. Mike, I'll ask you. Okay. <laughs> so, so <laughs> look, I'll give you a couple answers. One, do, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know course. what I'm talking about? Every, everyone watches. Your dad did it today. My, da- my fucking dad. But his, his looked cool. Bro. I like how GP's always like a week or two behind the trend. But he still does. Did you it. like how he blamed his girlfriend? I, 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 my I, girlfriend. My girlfriend, please, girlfriend please, 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 please. I'm playing it. I'm Play playing it. it. No, because I want to give context to this. Ask me a fucking question. He looks everyone like a is posting these. Look. That's right, folks. I jumped on board. Tell me what you think. Look at him. So this is AI renders of my my dad. Look at looking like a liver king ass motherfucker. <laughs> looking like a Vin Diesel ass. So everyone's been posting these. Those are sick. Your dad looks sick. So though. that's why. If it's Vin Diesel if he ate his family. It's because I think this AI render is like the coolest version of people. Yep. Even if you're beat yep. as shit like yeah. Greg. But in these he looks kind of cool. Totally. And man. so does everyone else. Oh yeah, you're you're totally right, dude. <laughs> So no so, shot. So, 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 I've never been happier than I've been uh, <laughs> of myself because wow, it, they, it gave me a newfound Do respect for my spot appearance. So, on, man, no, you well, used the wrong program. You used the wrong. The app. Did you use the free version? What I happened? Do, <laughs> fucking, Logan, look at this one. It confirmed my thought that I'm getting. I'm gathering myself a lazy eye. Look at my I'm face. Guess. I mean, also these teeth are. It just... made me a fucking astronaut with a lazy eye. That is so. 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 What I'll say to you is yes. People thinking people, they're beautiful, but people. I, I think people are becoming more and more obsessed with this futuristic, robotic kind of, you know, thought system, and they want to see what they would look like in a future AI environment. And I think that's cool. I think I don't think there's any issue with that. The issue is what else is AI starting to do? So we're starting to see it across the board. We went and I used a product that is, there's a lot of products coming out right now that are starting to do copywriting, AI copywriting. If you go and you say, please create a description for the impulsive podcast, it will gather intelligence from a million sources and create a description. Now that doesn't seem that crazy. It doesn't seem that crazy that it can do that because it's simple. It's objective. But when I say, please create a synopsis for a movie about a corrupt CDC scientist who conceals the cure for cancer in an effort to make personal gain. 
and it writes me a 10 paragraph synopsis about a woman named Laura Davies who was born in New York, went to New York University, excelled in the CDC and created a black market salute like how long does it take? No, 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 no. That just sounds like a dope way to write school seconds. essays. No yes, way. Sure, sure. 10 seconds. And I had a synopsis for a movie. And I could build off of it. And if you have any skill whatsoever, you can then take that AI intelligence and turn it into something real. I've said it on this podcast before, and I'll say it again. I believe that the human race is on this planet to create the master race. AI. And I think no, I don't know. If, I don't know. If it's, SI, SI. I don't know if it's AI, SI, but like AI super. is definitely the next step, the beginning stages yeah. of that. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna eradicate ourselves, 100%. but not if we just pray to Jesus. <laughs> I promise you, you're gonna burn in hell. <laughs> no, that's, no, what no, he no, should, no. that's what he should promise. You are going to no, burn in the no. fiery depths of hell. Thanks I know. to me, no. you think it's funny, but thanks to me, I just saved the human race. Asshole. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> You think liver king smells bad? Just wait, though. Hey, can I ask you something? Just wait until what your what, burning flesh smells when like. We, wait until your fucking toenails catch on fire. You're talking about, you didn't, but. Did you laugh right after you were like, Jesus, let me see, let, let, open my eyes to you? Did you laugh a little bit? Because I felt like you were about to laugh and you cut it. No. You did it? No. Okay. Me and my mom were talking about it. You talked to your mom about me? Oh, yeah. We pray for you all the time. What did she say? Uh, that she agrees with me. I think. You're wrestling with something deep in here. And I'm wrestling with fucking Roman Reigns, brother. He is the, the face of the WWE. He is the table. Yeah. I, See, if you knew Jesus, you wouldn't say stuff like that. Like, I'm the table. Like, what was that? He could help me out with my copy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, no, the AI could help you. With no, the honestly, copy. honestly, honestly. So, so. No, write fine. your next, write your next wrestling skedaddle on AI. On AI <gasps> and Jesus will help me cut the promo. Uh, he could only grab the wheel, apparently. Do you know that song or no? Is a joke flew right No, no, no. I, I wouldn't even call that a joke. Jokes are kind of, jokes are funny. Yep. We'll be laughing in the other life. <laughs> you won't be laughing, buddy. Your, your dick will be singed. Have no, ever, no. I honestly think, I don't think that you're a, saying is that bad. Have I you really ever, don't. Oh, I do. Have you I don't. Ever I think he's just wrestling with cock? it. I'm he's just, not wrestling anything. He's pinned it. In his mind, he won. No, and he don't no, win off. No, it's no. Logan in his room by himself, like one, no. two, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> got you, <laughs> got you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't, dude, this isn't about winning to me. It's just a conversation. And also, like, I think people are um, not not just people. You, like, um, I, I'll frog splash the fuck out of you. You couldn't even if you wanted to. I will find a perch in this house. Yeah. And when you walk by and least expect it, answer on, MGK's FaceTime. Tell me he's on impulsive. Hey, can we come? Well, no, tell him he's live. Tell him he's live. You're live on impulsive, bro. If it's not a good time, I Who's understand. That? Yeah, yeah. You want me to call you back? All right, I'll call you back, please. I, do, I just want to tell you really quick. You approached that all wrong. Who was that? You should have been like, yo, really quick. You're live on Impulsive and been energetic and I'm fun sorry. about it. Are you, you telling me how to talk to a, a streamer? As a, as, a, as a past streamer, he would have he engaged, bro. No, you gave him a no. shit rub. You gave him a shit rub. Who was it? MGK. Nice. He's probably doing a sacrifice anyway. So he can't oh, really come fuck. <laughs> He's not doing the, the annual Cleveland holiday show. That we just rearrange oh, all our flights man. to make. He is so talented live. He's the best, bro. He He's one of the so best rock stars of our generation. Yeah, yeah. So talented live. When he performed in your garage, I was like, how the fuck is this guy yeah, putting on the fucking craziest incredible, show? Bro. Watch him throw the mic around like a baton. He's been practicing for his whole life. He's like a baton twirler with a, just the mic. That alone it impresses me. Not to mention the fact that he's like singing really well with really well You got this. Songs. Use the AI to finish this. <laughs> If I can I have AI to help me finish my set? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, uh, yo, I'm done actually. So thank you so much. Uh, next week, Wiz Khalifa is on the show. Uh, a lot of great shows coming up for the rest of the month of December, guys. Love your family, love your friends, and most importantly, love, love Jesus. Jesus. And and uh, buy some gifts, do some good this holiday season. We're actually going out tomorrow. Dressed as Santa Claus, spreading cheer around Los Angeles, which is really cool with a bag full of money. Hell yep. yeah. Yeah, and we're doing it for content, right? Yep. I, I also have no idea I what you're saying. I won't just leave that. 
if you're gonna say that, I won't just leave it. Wait, can I say no, something when you, you leave? Yeah, when you're done, when I'm done. Gotcha. <clears throat> Listen to me. I'm gonna put out a video next week on the night shift. It is going to be a video of content about doing good things. I'm going to be checked on that by Jeff Wittick, I'm sure, or Logan Paul. Why don't you just do it? Why don't you just go and do it and not shoot the content? The only reason you're doing this is for content. Let me tell you guys something. Look around you right now. Look around on Twitter. Look around on TikTok. Look around on YouTube. You will see an abundance of hate, political hate, people disagreeing, hating, stressing, getting mad, politics, war, anger, journalism. If you are out there faking good deeds for content, keep doing it. If the only reason you help that old lady cross the road is to take an Instagram story of you helping that old lady cross the road, do it. If the only reason you're donating is to put out videos of you donating, do it. I don't give a fuck what your reason is to do good deeds. Mm. Do good deeds. Okay, Mike. Even if it's simply to put them online for views and clout. I don't give a fuck. Okay, Mike. Because anything you can do to break through the static that is the bullshit we live in right now, fucking do it. What okay, if, what Mike. If what, if it's, what if it's all staged? I saw this video of this, oh. these people like tipping this worker no, at no, Starbucks. No fake but the worker was like not an actual worker. Nah, fuck active. that. No. Oh, no, that's crazy. No, you know I went to the bank and got a bunch of these. Some of your dough, some of my dough. We got, we got like 15K right now. I want to give a shout out to Joel Creates. Oh, no. Nice. Creates. That's what I want to do. That's how I want to end this podcast. Well, can I say some stuff before you end oh, it? Yeah, he, he did. Yeah. So let George go first. Then you go. Go ahead, George. Make it quick. <clears throat> so <laughs> I'm actually in the middle of a fucking thought and I'm going to finish it. I said after you're done. I know. Yeah, but my co host here doesn't seem to understand the flow of this conversation. Co-ho- sorry, sorry. Co-hosting is hard. I know. <laughs> I've been failing lately. <laughs> go ahead, Logan. Joel creates. You fucking did it, bro. You fucking did it. And I couldn't. And you did. He beat KSI in a fight. Even more impressive. <laughs> even even more impressive than that. What did he do? He made a single slice pocket toaster. Mm. Oh, I saw I that. I saw that. I saw wow. that. The invention that I came up with in high school that I thought was going to make me. I wanted to revolutionize the world with a groundbreaking product. And it was the single slice pocket toaster. Imagine this. A toaster that you could take anywhere. It was portable, small, one slice of bread at a time, fits in your pocket. Hungry, got your bread, got your toaster, plug it into any outlet, you got your toast. Butter from the back pocket, spread it on, eating, eating good. In the neighborhood. My man Joel creates. He did it. He invented the one slice pocket toaster. He brought my dreams into reality. And I just want to say, Joel, I would like to uh, offer a 50% equity stake in our company <laughs> for $1 million. Whoa. And we're going to blow this thing up. Me and you, Joel. Really? No. Oh. No, absolutely oh, not. I was like, who I the fuck actually, would want I that? laughed at first. And then- <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely not. Nah. Stupidest fucking idea ever. Well, because someone can die, right? If you plug yourself into a wall. Well, that seems like a whole other issue. <laughs> Plugging yourself into a wall. <laughs> well, because secondly, if it's in your pocket and you plug it in, like you're, you're electric. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? You're like, AI. Yeah. Um what, what do you want to say? Oh, okay. Uh I just wanted to wrap up just in case there's people that don't understand sarcasm or jokes. Please. Oh, I just want to oh, just for my heart. I was uh, actually hoping you wouldn't do I, this. For my heart, I have to. God, just for my heart. Matrix, guys, no, no, no. thank you for watching no, 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 no. this Impulsive, episode of Impulsive. One. <laughs> and, and oh, it's God. not a disclaimer. It's not a disclaimer. We'll see you next time. <laughs> just love your Peace. neighbor. Everyone. Love thy neighbor. That's it. That's all I ask. We're cut, brother. No, no, no. Don't cut. We're cut. You just started a whole war. Now people I are not going to love you. I ended the war. No, you didn't. You started it. How are they going to know to love their neighbor? The show is over. What do you want me to do? I fucking He's walking. I'll He's make walking. the rules. He's walking. What do you want me to do? Oh, the sound. I'm taking this because it's nice. Yo, ever since, ever since you've been wearing that beanie, you're looking like that robber from Home Alone. <laughs> Don't touch the doorknobs, George. The real hot. <laughs>
fucking got him, bro. <laughs> Two no, sponsors. We're, we're not done. We're not done, dude. The I show's no, nah, we, no, bro, no. We got no. more shit to talk about. Love yeah. your neighbor. Are we really cut or not? No, nah, I think we're gonna keep going. I don't, Are you I don't know. Now, nah, I, I think we're probably done. See you later, guys. Peace.